I won't lie, I did have one other idea that might be fun. The idea was Denmark, Spain. Denmark, Spain? The only, I think, conflicting claim would probably be in the British Isles, right? Poland, too, actually wouldn't be terrible. Mm. Yeah, often I've seen one, but, like, usually some of the best ones are, like, a colonizer and a non-colonizer, or a nation who's most concerned with Europe, or a nation who doesn't care. Yeah, that was honestly my goal when I suggested France, Britain. I get, I would be more in Europe with minimal colonizing, while you would have more free reign on the global stage. Still exists. Yeah. Probably. I don't recall why they exist. They uh, Spain. Them. Yeah, you had to release them to get out of the death war with Spain. Oh, I, think I think right now what the goal may want to become is trying to allow me to kill the Empire and you get a little more free reign. Uh, and with. Preferably building up my economy to start. Oh, yeah. Um, and I'm looming disaster. Oh, the plutocrats ride. Okay, that's. <clears throat> oh, you colonized. Oh, no, Denmark's colonizing Greenland. I needed that. Yep. Shit. Uh, they have only colonized one, they haven't colonized the other yet. I know, I just don't have range. I don't have colon colonial ideas. I have infrastructure and espionage. And I'm working on quality. I need to find a country, too, that Poland does not like. Mm -hmm. In the Empire, of course. Oh, uh, yeah. They don't like Bohemia, but I can't take land from Bohemia, right? Mm -hmm. I can't access Lunenburg. Where's Ansbach again? Oh, I see it. Yeah, they want Teutonic Order, but I don't think it's even in the entry, and they want Hungary. I could go for Oldenburg. Oh no, they still have the attitude towards enemies. I also have nowhere near enough. I should have looked at that sooner. It looks like they don't like Ansbach a lot. But I also just need to get my army up to deal with Austria and Hungary. If there was a way to get Hungary out of that PU without going to war, that'd be huge. But yeah, that's by default not an option. Most of the personal games are designed to be pretty kept. Oh, man looks a dying. What? Do you see the man looks? Uh. Yeah, kind of. They're dying. Not going great. Oh yeah, they're dead. Uh, I'm wondering if we're about to see um, Ottoman Egypt popping up as a whatever it's called. Ayelet. Yeah, that thing. Ayelet. Let me know when you're ready to unpause. I think I'm oh. fine.
Unpause. I am. I apparently never made Scotland into a state, so I'm fixing that right now, and then I'm ready. Okay. All right, ready when you are. What I need to do is find a way to grow my economy, right? Of course, I need another seat in Parliament. Um, Northumberland, here you're in Parliament. Oh, I am able to colonize Greenland now. Nice. If I can kill De Denmark, maybe I'll take. Th maybe I could try and get their colonial possessions. Issue is, who are you allied to? Teutons, East Frisia, Hamburg, Utrecht. I have no Cassis Belly against you, though. Uh, should I go for Admin Tech 10? It is a 20% penalty. Mm. Oh, I need to embrace it's colonialism. Sorry, what? What? It's how much you need the next idea set, I think. I really don't. I need to embrace colonialism. How am I making laws? Oh, I have a lot of corruption. How did I get this corruption issue? Oh, I now gain a colonialism cast at Belly against Denmark. Nice. What? Is your armies looking like? Oh, they're actually kind of weak. What's a good economic group? Um, infrastructure is, I think, usually considered the meta one for admin. And then for Diplo, it's trade. Is it a particularly good one in um, military, to your knowledge? Um, plutocratic. I don't have plutocratic as the issue. No, you wouldn't. Alright. Uh, let's see. Out of all the military ones, the one that will save you the most money in the long term is probably going to be quantity because they have manpower modifier, <coughs> regiment cost, and supply limits. Yeah, I'm, I'm having to go full money save at the moment. Yep, that's fair. moment when you try to guess which random three dev island the separatists pop up on and you guess wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk a little bit of debt to get rid of my corruption quick. That's fair. I can't give away money right now, are you kidding me? Where'd I just get a claim? Spain. That makes sense. Probably not the smartest idea post that fight. 
Oh, am I? I think I'm paying you for colonialism, right? You might be, yeah. Okay, so I'm getting it. I just didn't. Because. Yeah, it's mostly missing in my so the south of my country right now. Alright, you did take Iceland. Spain says, fuck you. They have a 5k army, but 51k saved. Who does? Spain. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, no, I see the other 51k army and 5k saved. Oh, my bet. Did I get that with us? Yeah, you got reversed. Oh, uh, my bad. It happens. I got a mission complete? What? Oh, I've discovered the Americas and have at least one explorer. Yeah, sure, I'll take that mission now to increase speed. Or admitted they ate human flesh. I hate them now. Okay. That's nice. That, yep, that's normal. I need 350 gold to embrace colonialism. Alternatively, most of my remaining provinces are already getting it to some extent. Um, oh, but some of these are really low and two provinces don't even have it started. Wait, I have overextension? Am I calling that at least? I am. Yeah, I'm assuming it's... The probably. Spanish stuff, yeah. Yeah. I honestly forgot we took that so recently that I wouldn't have a cord. How are things going for you financially, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I've got like 1,500 ducats banked, and I'm making 25 a month. England is just a make money button. I'm just, I don't know what I've done wrong that I'm like struggling to keep everything, right? Have you been making the um, pro former provinces of the vassal states, and are you over governing capacity? I'm a little over governing. Not much, but a little. I'm going to uh, centralize this one. Hang on, I've never seen... This is a brand new thing for me. Religious stance of the king, it's time for me to yeah, do shit. I need to decide if I change for Protestant. I plan to be at uh, anyway if you want to go the same religion. Yep. Uh, yeah. Oh, good. I can convert Essex. You've gone Protestant? Yep. 
I think uh, Lauren Caster is now on the throne. Oh, no, I went, I went Catholic. Oh, you're Catholic? Okay. Yep. I said, okay, I'll stay Catholic. I'm not a big fan of Protestant at the moment. It's not... It needs a buff. Which one do you think is the strongest, honestly? Of the Christian denominations, the best bonuses are probably Orthodox, but the easiest one to play is easily a good Catholic nation, because a big one has an easy time maintaining their their Pope mana, and there's a lot you can do with it. All right. Especially because they're one of the only Christian nations that you can actually use all their bonuses at once. Fair. Whereas Orthodox, although they have some of the best bonuses, you can only have two active at a time. Protestant, let's be real, everyone uses the exact same three every single time. And you're still weaker than most other. Alright. And then Reform, I'm a big fan of Reform, and you can keep at least two active at all times, which can be fun. They're better for Republics, I think. Alright, I'm ready. When you are. Unpause it, if you want. Alright. Alright, I'm finally at zero corruption. Nice. Now I'm making 18.86 ducats a month, actually. Oh, good. Religious unity, because I have less than 100% religious unity. Thank you, Essex. Alright, I just got cores too, so my balance has improved even more. I forgot I'm allied to Poland. Uh, I think I'm about to have religious disaster because I have a single Protestant province. Really? Like, it's not soon. The question is, can I convert Essex in time? Uh... Think so. No, I mean it's it's you can unpause it. Just that. Well, no, my dad was calling me. Oh, okay. We were planning dinner. Okay. Makes sense. Um, would you be able to go with uh, Denmark for the purposes of navy? Repeat that. I need you to go with Denmark for your navy. Fair. Is that? Uh, I can help with. Yeah, I can help with with Denmark. Uh, what's their navy looking like right now? 41. I might be able to take it. I need to build my navy up. If you give me a year, I can easily do it. Would you mind if I start the war just so I could have, like, Poland and then start sieging down? Sure. The idea is I want to take their colonies. I'm going to be real. They're sieging down, which, oh, Turk is sieging down um, the Burgundian provinces, if you're curious. I see it. I'm mobilizing my armies there, but I had to cut all maintenance to get my economy. I still need colonialism, by the way, so if you can spare, like, a hundred cash, I could get it now, but honestly, I don't expect you to, right? Yeah, I'll give you what I can afford. Oh, shit. Embrace, and how do I sell this back? Nobody will accept knowledge sharing from me, which is kind of disappointing. Good news, uh, Henry has a new son named Henry. Fucking hell. Part of me really wants to take a little of a century of kill to take Utrecht's fort. Fair. We've all been there. Oh, I just got hit with a bad event. Ooh, How's my air? What is my air? It's the one where I'm risking my air, basically. It's a 413. Oh, yeah. I'm actually not fussed at that. Right? Mm -hmm. Admin's not something I'm struggling too much with. Although you do have trade efficiency. Trade efficiency is nice. Yeah. I think I'm going to just take the 25% chance. Yeah. Uh, and I got a 5-2-1, which is 
worse, actually. Hmm. I'm pausing. Yep. I really want to attack Norway's navy, but uh, if Denmark reinforces, I am in so much trouble. I wouldn't risk it, honestly. Yep. They can siege London, and I'll siege Utrecht, and we'll call it a day. How much overextension would it be to take your capital? Uh, not overextension, aggressive expansion. 31.6, no one in a coalition, but I still need the ability to take the land from uh, Denmark, right? Yep. Nineteen to take their other province, actually. That's not terrible. Hmm. I'll, I'll decide against it. I want it, but I'll decide against it. How bad would East Frisia be to take? 28.5. Yeah, I really shouldn't play too much with that. I might take part of Norway, though. Since it won't be in the HRE, right? Um, East Frisia, the siege is over. So. Yeah, I've paused. I'm seeing what they'll accept. Uh, okay, they're not in the ongoing naval battle, so that should be fine. Uh, hang on, don't unpause. Oh, it's probably too late. What? I'm, I'm going to have a naval battle with Denmark. It's fine. I'm going to pause when you're ready. I mean, you can always just be prepared to move it out of the way, right? Yep, that's the plan. I have a mission. What is this? Alright. Uh, maybe get it out of there before you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, good. I lost both the light ships I just did. Oh, move it again, move it again. Oh, I'm moving it. It's, I got it. They just following. I lost a couple of transports. It's fine. Yeah. What I'm saying is Denmark has a way better Navy than me right now, and I'm going to need a little bit of time to build it back up. That's fine. We at least can have we at least have Poland, Lithuania going and Brandenburg in like the mainland Scandinavia, right? Mm -hmm. I could try and free Sweden. Oh, and I just got a revolt in Barcelona. Are you shitting me? Well, it's hopefully to take a bunch of easy naval fights and to capture a few ships and then just. Retreat. Oh, silly you. There we go. Oh, well, what the Teutons as well? Yep, which is probably where Poland's at. Poland didn't ask for land, so I could get away without giving them land, but maybe I'll give them something. To get, um, else favors, right? Me and Spain just teamed up against some of my separatists. Nice. But they weren't Spanish separatists, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Why is this army, like, black flagged, I think they call it? Mm -hmm. That is the slang, yeah. Oh, I don't have the ability to go to Denmark... 
Oh, to Jalen, yeah. Uh, we need access to Lou Beck. Can I get that? Yes. I, I can. I got it. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? We need the fort of the country you're sieging out now. Yep, of Hamburg? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That'll be done soon. Oh, 496 ducats? Fuck yes. Hamburg wants to peace out. That makes sense. Um, I can afford that. I'll take the free professionalism. Okay, the Spanish Separatists are out of the game. And I'm done black. Okay. Exile, it's fine. Uh, what should I do with the Teutons? I think I'm going to give Poland one piece. The money, the war reps, the transfer trade power. Um, who are you allied to? Mecklenburg. I mean, if you're allied to Brandenburg, you could give you could give them um, Konigsberg. They're in this war, but I also want to keep Brandenburg weak. I need to move into Germany. Actually, with that in mind, I'm actually gonna not. Put Ortelsburg to Poland. <gasps> Just in case I can take it for myself later, right? Mm -hmm. Um, let's break you off from Lubeck, Livonia, Denmark. Oh, wait, what's Austria? Okay, Austria is just mill access. I want to start planning what I want to do with Denmark, if you don't mind. Yep. I'm taking your colonial possessions. That's what this whole war has been about. It's not truly European if you're not doing that, is it? What'd it say? It's not truly European if you're not doing stuff like that, is it? Yeah, something like that. Do I free Norway or release Finland? If you for, if you release Finland, Sweden will be weakened and probably be less rebellious, which isn't necessarily ideal for weakening Denmark. The last thing you want is Scandinavia. But the big thing too is I'm trying to make freeing Sweden cheaper, right? That was my mentality, at least. Uh, okay. What I would personally be in favor of is freeing Norway, because I can, then we can just beat the shit out of them. My favorite uh, way of colonizing is to beat up Norway. Do I have enough war? Is Norway small enough for me to vassalize? Norway might be small enough for me to vassalize them. That'd be funny. Alright, I... Keep hoping that I can put a pair on the throne of Portugal, as one does. Are you ready for me on pause? Yep. Wait, what is this? Oh, Norway's colonizing. Why is this army not counting? Uh, 
And where's my other army? I'm colonizing what would be New York City. Nice. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Really well, game. I could upgrade the size, which, what would you give me? Some tax modify, improve relations, and nobility, loyalty, equilibrium. Or the Palace of the Popes, which is province governing costs, clergy max privileges, and a hundred splendor to Provence. Neither of those sound particularly worth it to me. Okay, that's good. We'll just turmoil doesn't automatically... Like being at max stability. Can you get mill access to Muscovy at all? Um, possibly. I forget. I think they stopped rivaling me. They rival to me. Uh, yeah, uh, no, because of Pinya, I can fix that. It's that's a, such a. It's a minus. It's a minus seven plus seven. Give me like two seconds. For right. the emperor. I hate that the AI does this, where there's one ship in the Danish Trace. This feels like something, like, a player would do. Right? Yep. Oh, wait. I'm on the capital. Nice. I don't know how they got to my navy. It was safe. On a... I don't know how they got to my navy. I told it to stay on land. So I don't know what happened there. Oh well. Salty about that one. That was all my ships. I don't know if I can release oh, Norway. British Renaissance, okay. Oh shit, um, I forgot, Prospering Times, Admin, Diplo, or Mill? I think I'm gonna go for Diplo for a little more in the way of, uh, what's the word? <clears throat> um, economy stuff. Mm -hmm. I blinked way too hard there. Why do you already have a valid air? Your air is stupid. How much does it cost to take Xialand? Twenty one point three.
It is not 21.3, okay. I got a native uprising in Greenland crate. That's what happened. I was wondering why my navy was uh, was even in the water. Apparently, um, something happened that I no longer had military access through Spain, so my navy decided to transport them. That would do it. Which means, unfortunately, I lost some peoples. It's fine. Sorry. Oh, it's now you're bad. I'm gonna try and be polite, uh, right? Yep. Uh, I still have all the cannons. That's what that's what matters. The people, ah, that's whatever. They did a risk when they went to the ocean. Queen Anne has died. Don't ask any questions. You don't want the answer. Okay. How's my economy looking at the moment? It's taking a bit of a hit. I would be lying if... Because I have a lot of colonies to maintain now. Not all of these were finished being developed, by the way. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't want to attack the Pope, because I'm allied with the Pope now. I realized I was short an alliance, and the Pope was a good one. Yeah, I've been trying to be friendly with the Pope, but apparently he's rival to Naples, and I don't really want to give that up. Yep. Sounds right. Austria has allied Spain. Love that. Which means uh, we well, just got to probably attack someone else in the HRE and break the alliance. But if I attack anybody in the HRE, doesn't Austria's allies get called in? Potentially. Although I guess in that case it's... Is Austria allied with anybody outside the HRE? Must be. That's also not a very good one. Oh, wait. Livonia seized down part of Austria. What's going on here? Oh. Oh. Poland's doing shit. Yep. Poland's at war with Muscovy, yeah. I'm losing. Portugal's at war with Topolalt. Fine. Don't really care. I need a debate in Parliament, that's way more important. Okay, I'm gonna do the de Parliament debate quickly, sorry. The what real quick? The Parliament debate. Oh, okay. Uh, fine, because I'm tired of having crappy... What is it? Uh, had Navy tradition and some sailor shit. Alright. Can I unpause now or? Uh, it should pass in a moment. Do -do -do. Passed. Okay, you're good. Alright, I own Tunis. That's why they call me in, isn't it? That's fair. My, I have no way to decrease my nobility influence. 
I think I need to get them to a hundred and start decreasing. What is it? Like remove increased levies and a couple of these others, right? How do I even still have the strong duchies in it? Uh, because I should... How long till I can integrate Provence? Uh, four more years. I guess I'll start improving relations then. It shouldn't take that long, sure, but... I just realized Austria would join the war with Spain even though that war shit because they hate me. Mm. That sounds right. Poland Lithuania may be dying here. Attacker or is it defender? Muscovy is attacking Livonia, that's why, okay. So they probably shouldn't lose too much at least. No, they're a co-belligerent. If they actually attacked, they would have called me in, so they definitely didn't. I got one of my colonies self-sustaining, so my balance is about to improve. Nice. Um, I think I'm going in infrastructure, yeah. That makes sense. It's a good one. Uh, where can I put this extra merchant I just got? Um, probably diverting from Chesapeake Bay would be the smart idea. How do you have 25% trade power here? Oh, Spain is in 349 ducats of debt. And I also just got my plus 15 morale of armies. Let's go. Nice. Ooh, the next one's really good. Can I stop getting natives uprising? Seriously. I'm 
I'm gonna just build a singular unit on Greenland. Apparently you would be willing to join me in my war against the Isle of Man. What are they allied to? What? They're allied to no one. I'm not joining that. Yep. You would literally just be there. I don't know why they think you're willing. I'm like, why? I want all the credit myself. It, it also... I... Like, there's no reason for me to join. There's no reason not for me to join. But, like, at the same token, it just wouldn't be worth it. Right? Yep. And here we go. Now there's the two-star admirals. No, my golden era is over. I wanted that. Have I even popped mine? No. What is my combat with? Where is military? 27. Alright, so I'm gonna start working on my armies a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. This might help my economy a little bit, but I'll see fifteen twenty two at full maintenance. I'm happy with that. Yeah, fair enough. And what can help increase my economy more? Uh, let's get a few production workshops, and a couple manufacturers out would do a lot. Oh, I'm a hundred and fifty short. Damn it. How do you like my new and improved armies? Shiny. Oh, I... This one still has calf. I forgot to get rid of. I'm trying to take your advice on that. Poland needs ducats, and I kind of need that alliance. Even if they are a little worse for wear, I think Muscovy did take two provinces from Lithuania. It wants me to make a subject out of Flanders. That's not gonna go well. And then wants me to colonize Connecticut. This is Connecticut, right? What's the... Uh, yeah, I think it's any province in Connecticut would do. I'm going to overstretch myself one colony. I don't think that's gonna completely yeah, kill me. I'm marking all of Tunis as final interest. We'll see if Portugal gives me any. Uh, since the war's already started, probably not. It depends. I'm not overextended, and I sometimes have I have no claim, but sometimes they will. Given that I'm doing all the work, and I want to make sure that I stay with friend. Yeah, I need to remove increased levies right now. That's killing me. It was a huge help at the beginning, mm -hmm. but I, I need to get it out now. I'll be right back. I need to do something. All right. Do you want me to pause? Yeah.
All right. How's everyone doing tonight? Uh, today, sorry about the quietness. Messaging somebody about a favor I asked. Oh, my puppies. All right, that's planned at least. Do 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 do
Well, I guess I'm going to step away now. That's fair. Ready? Yep. So I wanted to ask, should there be an order for how I upgrade my market, market towns or ports? Um, I usually try to go for places where I'm approaching an optimal amount of trade power, but don't have it quite yet, for instance. Um, let's see here. For example, right now I've been mostly focusing on stuff. Uh, English Channel is relatively important to me. I'm the dominant trade power, but I don't even have half of it because frickin' Holland exists. So, so to, uh, I do a lot there. So I should probably upgrade in, like, Champagne or Badeau, right? Yeah. Some place you're strong, but not the strong. Yeah, in your case, you definitely want to do Champagne. I'm thinking Champagne and... Whereas you're... Re you don't, don't worry about Bordeaux. You're 90% in Bordeaux. Do not worry about it. Oh, okay. 
I'll be honest, I misunderstood a little bit. Yep. Oh, Paris, should I get two tasks to production or manpower? I think production. Yeah, especially because that helps trade. Obviously. Yeah. I was just thinking more economic in general. Granada's also allied with Portugal, I didn't even realize. Alright, I just got the first infrastructure idea, so I'm hoping that helps. Yep. Which one is that again? Infrastructure... St. Mayor's minus 33%. Yep, that should help because St. Mayor's is pretty expensive. And then the next one will that it will actually help the economy will be state governing costs. Oh no, that's... Yeah, that will help. The issue yeah, is I'm still a little over on my... um. Governing capacity. Of course, Henry's fertile. Fuck off. Or I guess in this case, don't fuck. He's fertile? Infertile. Alright. Now it's time for the siege of the sea opinions. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be helpful in the new world so that I can keep the natives, uh, the native populations happy and not rising up. That is a lovely tunis right there. I love to see it. Real quick, I have to ask. Yep. Any advice on increasing the nobility's loyalty or decreasing their influence besides timed event stuff? Or cell and siege? Um, it's especially calling diets and completing them, and events are the two biggest ones. Okay. Excuse me. You're good. How is my economy looking? Colonial maintenance is eight, and I am one over, so I'm happy with that. Um, I do just need to increase everything, right? Mm. Well, everything good. I I do not need more debt or more expenses. I mean. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. Thank you, Portugal. They left Papa Walt alive as one province minor, so hopefully I can do more to this later. Because I promised the burgers I'd add more to the trade company. We'll be fully converted oh. in five years. Fuck that. I just got a revolt on Newfoundland. What do French particulars want? Raise autonomy. Mm -hmm. uh, I would lose 20 prestige and the bourgeoisie gain influence. Yeah. 
and 10% land. I can't allow that to happen. Yeah. There's a lot of not good effects. I won the siege. Nice. Uh, I need to run trade companies. I just never use them. I'm not loving this new... England has a minus stability event every few months because Protestants exist event chain. It's like, really? I'm also going to start building up a transport fleet. Not too much of one, but I need to start decreasing it, right? Like the number of trips. Oh my god. I now have a native uprising in Cuba. Nice. Not really. It, Sweden might be independent. Yeah, Sweden's independent. I also just got a native uprising in the state I needed to not native uprise. Hungary is pop controller. I just suck a ton into that because I've been forgetting and I had um, 200 saved up. I'm going to try and get that and see if I can excommunicate either Austria or Spain and get them to like break the alliance. Sweden and Norway are independent. Well, I freed Norway, remember? Yep, and it looks like Sweden's declared independence, so. Why does Norway not trust me? I freed you. Yep. Because you were at war with them. And then there's me just being like, I'm going to just spy on you. Uh, I can't spy on you because I have no valid neighboring provinces. Oh, because... Look at my islands. Hello. Hi, Med. Hey. Baron's teaching me Renaissance politics, basically. I didn't think you were the person that needed teaching about that. I just don't know this game very well. Fair enough. Oh. I'm uh, teaching uh, Disney characters about economy and how to own all of the economy as long as uh, you own all of the food. 
That sounds horrible. Yeah, it's pretty great. Basically, I have a farm, and then I have Moana catching fish for me, which I absolutely do not pay her for. And uh, then I take all of it, and then I sell it back to Goofy, and he gives me a fuck ton of money. I just suck off the poke and that's going to rain when I kill people. What? What? That is technically what happens. I, I give them money and then and happiness and in return I can kill people and there's no problem. Did, okay, did you say suck off the Pope or did that's I That's just... my HUD. That's what I said, yes. Okay. I just wanted to clarify. I have a problem with it. He consented. Oh no. I mean, it's probably the first of age person to suck him off in years. No, this is the 1500s. That was. Uh, I am live, man. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello, everybody on oh, Japan's channel. Let's be real, there's no one there. Do you guys want to see the YouTube live stream band speedrun? <laughs> Oh, I have a ton of suddenly Protestant lands. Certainly Protestant. Suddenly. Oh, suddenly. <laughs> suddenly Protestant. Ah, uh, Olaf, my good dude, shut the fuck up. Bad news, there are now only, there are less than 50 Catholic nations in the world. Damn Reformation. Yeah, let's see. Brandenburg is oddly still Catholic, even though it's 90, like it's 75% Protestant. Yay, I got on the throne of Poland. Damn it. Oh, were you trying to? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been trying to. To be fair, though, I think I forgot to boost claim air strength. And also... <clears throat> now can I... Either I left a monarchy so I can't claim throne, rude. I think I'm going to get a couple of uh, ranked games in before night two of Wrestlemania. Okay. Yeah, fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I need another level of Diplotech. Relatable. Ooh, construction cost. I, I wish I did that before starting to build stuff again. Yep. I hate when that happens. Oh, 54? I didn't realize my, um, manufacturer's tab wasn't sorted by amount of cash added, so I've been building 20s when I could have had 50s. Damn. Hi, Glitcher. Hello. Yep. I will say, her stream has not loaded for me once. Well, that's because she's, it's paused. Get her, um, she's not tabbed into Valentine. 
So that's fine. Oh. And now it's paused again. <laughs> and now it's paused again. Also, I don't know what it is with my mother whenever she do my medicine. She's like, she she brings it up and then she's like, hey, what do you want to drink? It's like, okay, why would you bring it up? Go back downstairs, come back up with it. Hey, mom. Hi. Yeah, no. And am I wrong? Quinn, you've got legs. Oh, that was just on my stream. Yeah, I don't care anymore. Right. okay that was barely heard like i barely was able to make out what she said i assume there was a real name said i very clearly made it out granted i know glitch's name How's my economy doing? Surprisingly not that great. Sticking out the door on that thing. I don't know, you have to put it. Why don't you put the. You need to keep the stick. You know, you, you even have that still? So. No, I was gonna. No, I was gonna ask. Quinn, look. Ow. Quinn, do you have this still? So why didn't you guys sell that? That goes with the stuff you sold already? No. What did you go with? We have to buy it individually. No, I meant... I had to sell it at Costco. And that's where I got half of this. No, no, no. I mean, does this go with any stuff that you want to sell? No. Okay, so this goes with what? Xbox? Yeah, but I got it individually from Costco. That's right. No, no, if you don't have to sell it individually from Costco. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Okay, I'll explain it to your dad. Oh, Russia formed. Nice. Not too surprising. The issue is, how do we break through Austria, Hungary? Because they have Spain and Russia. Oh uh, man, I see an invite. Oh, indeed you have. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> oh, what did you queue up for? Uh, Swift. Oh, okay. I was going to do some ranked, but Swift is good, too. Well, you don't want to go immediately into that, do you? Why not? Um, you don't want warm-up until you go into ranked? Should should you warm up? Is warm up a thing in video games? Yes. Well, for ranked, yeah, you're going to want to. It's just like your first game, so you get all the the stupidity out. Like trust me, Glitcher, I will always have more stupidity to break. What? Me and this person. What are you looking at right now, Baron? Me? Um, at the moment, I'm just like, okay, I'm a murder tunist. At some point, get to it eventually. The issue is I need to find a way to break through this power block, right? Yep, the Austria Spain one. I've got I'm back with sixty thousand manpower and Spain has seven thousand. 
I don't know where all their manpower went, but they don't got that. If you declare war in Spain and break through the force pretty quickly, well, you can probably keep them from doing that. So Spain has some rebels going at the moment. I'm hoping maybe this destroys their economy and softens up their armies, right? Yep. So if we declare a war on Spain, I'm pretty sure I can force Portugal to break the Spanish alliance, no problem. To be honest, I kind of want to try and take some of their colonies. Portugal or Spain? Both. Fair. Are we doing uh, this? I just lost all of my Spanish planes once. I forgot that. Here's the thing. I have a lot of um, uh, allies that can go in. It would be a hundred. It would be over t almost three hundred units against about two forty, right? Who would this be against? Spain, Austria, Portugal, and their uh, colony. Do it. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of Portugal at least. We can deal with them later. Or I still want to get a PU over there, possible. And then that's just Spain. All right. Can you break it now? Uh, hang on. I have to press buttons. I'm pausing. Yes, I, I can break it now. Uh, I need 13 more days to get my diplomat back, and then I can break it. And then I should probably move my armies into position. Oh, I should also raise my maintenance. So let's give it a couple, a little yeah, more. A few months. Cannot break alliance because Portugal is now at war. God damn it, game. There's no reason our brain always you... thought Portugal is called Port Portugal. That's how some languages pronounce it, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, if you actually talk to a Portuguese person, they would pronounce it Portugal. So, wait, they live in Portal? They live in the Portal. Yes, they live in Portal, too, with uh, with GLaDOS and the fucking... We're gonna stack over with the uh, Aperture Science. You know, my Ma favorite, favorite character, <sighs> like, main ally, is the Companion Cube. What's up, Japana? Let me know when you're ready, Baron. Yep, I am currently moving the troops into position to actually attack. To avoid Our disaster. clove is time. just leaving a spawn now. What? Oh. They're, they're playing Valo. I'm not going to lie, this is probably not a good set of games to have in the same VC. Backing up. Oh yeah, who actually declares war? You or me? Uh, I would say maybe I should just because Whoa. I have some... I have a claim I could use as well as a ton of allies I can call in to try and get Austria out. I literally just lost my last Spanish claim, but if I wait till next month I'll have a ton of them. Oh wait, um... Are you ready? Uh, let me press... Because Portugal's getting called in, I think, be, I'm assuming, because I can't break the alliance. What are they at war with? They're at war with a native tribe. Yeah. In the Incas. I I think, yeah. Yep, all right. B, because literally nobody's going B. Oh yeah, they're B. Or at least one of them is B. I'm apparently getting naval invaded somewhere. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's in the colonies. Portugal's in the 
Portugal's blockading you over on the Gulf. Oh of the my Indian, so. fucking god! Nice free ships. Oh, Austria didn't join. No. Interesting. I need the Siege of Valencia over. That's the big one. Because once Valencia is over, I have access to connect my territory in years, so... How quickly they will be... Oh, they're already there. I knew I should have told my mother earlier to stop messing with my stuff, because now my computer's running like a fucking slug. Alright, the British Navy has officially recovered and is in a much stronger position now. Good, I still need to build my Navy, but I can't get my economy up. Oh yeah, so just everybody just left me. Or no, the chamber, the chamber is there just sitting on his ass. Sadly, I'm not the controller of the Siege of Valencia Savoy is, which is not helpful. If we can get the land in Africa, too. Yep. Oh, that'll be easy. Once we actually kill their army, we'll be Oh, they're sieging them. down uh, Malaga. Yep, I'm not worried about it. That's like the least important provinces I have. I think they just took out my navy. No. What? Okay. They have 46k troops somewhere. Can you put your navy in the Strait of Gibraltar? Nope, not until Valencia is sieged. Uh, I might lose an army if you don't. Oh, that's a 9k they're sending at you? That's not... No, that's not the thing I'm worried about. The fact is they have 46k troops. I don't know where and they have the Strait. So if I die, I die. They're not over there. Valencia is sieged. We're good. Oh, there's 31k in the north. I didn't even notice. My bad. Yep. Yeah, Spain never made it down to Valencia. They're now seizing up the, the Catalonia area. Right. <clears throat> what is this fucking Killjoy even doing? I am deliberately avoiding any engagement with Portugal as a heads up to avoid losing the... the friend modifier, because I want to re-ally them as soon as possible. Good. Fair enough. Oh my god, I was getting sick and tired of even looking at her. So I will let everybody else siege Portugal down. Not my job. Because I think it only takes like one or two battles against the actual opponent to get the event no longer permanent friends. Which is why the ideal strategy to worry about Portugal is to um take a personal union against them without ever lose it, fighting in a, in a national battle. Oh, I can increase my mill tech. Nice. Um, it wants me to change my units. I think Spain's about to die. Look at the top left corner of Spain. They don't really have much many places to run. Never mind, they're not attacking if you start the battle, they probably would, but that's also just a huge um, risk, right? Mm -hmm. For what we'll pay off. Yep. I guess I'll start the battle. 
and someone else will. Get off here, you idiots. They actually left you? What the fuck? They didn't leave. They were already leaving because they didn't realize I was I was moving. It's fine. They figured it out. Oh my god, the number of uprising. And I got the manpower, it's fine. Oh no, they're sieging down my Tunisian trade company. Oh no, I am so sad. What's over there? 5k Portuguese. Oh, Spain's building an army down here. Yep. But, you, but the, the, the siege is over, so you should be able to kill it relatively soon. I'm gonna go help blockade Lisboa so we can get peace Portugal out. I won't lie, part of me really wants to try and take Lisbon for myself. I'm also looking at the colony lands, right? I think I'm definitely going to risk some AE for this war. Alright? Oh, that's an easy enough mission for the nobility. Alright. Portugal, Lisboa has been taken. I'm pausing. Uh, I think I'm actually going to let them keep Lisbon. I want to try and take that in a future war. I won't lie about that. Nope. Portugal is mine. Portugal is my person union. We will be best friends forever. Uh, yeah, there's just no way I get out of this with Lisbon and what I want in Brazil. Nope. I'm gonna have to beat you up anyway, so it's not worth it. Alright, ready for me on pause? Yep.
Alright, so real quick, what do I want to do? First of all, I'm breaking that alliance with Austria. Hungary? No, Spain. Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised Austria didn't join. I wonder how that happened. Uh, Mexico is going to die. If you want the rest of Spain's army, it's hiding in Corsica. I'm trying to figure out how this go how this peace deal goes down, right? That's fair. I'm basically trying to remove them from the new world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing for me. Oh wait, I didn't want to take this actually. Would you like Lugo? I didn't mean to take that and I'll just abandon my claims on Iberia. Ben? Do you want Lugo, the province I took in the north by accident? I don't mind selling it for dirt cheap. I don't have money right now. By dirt cheap, I mean, like, literally 20 ducats. Yep. Sure. Because I'll admit, I got way too caught up in, like, trying to kick them out of the new world that, yeah, I didn't process I should get you something too, and I do apologize for that. Yep. least I can do is at least give a good deal on a province in... I think it's a relatively decent value. I'll take it. How? Yeah, you know what? I'll just give you a free province. Yeah. Again, that that did kind of screw you by accident. All right, I need to get armies to the new world now to stomp out these rebels. Egypt is on an island now. 
Surprised it wasn't sooner, honestly. I think that they took another war to do it. Oh, I just realized something. I'm overextension. I, I have some bad overextension issues right now. I need to do stuff here anyway. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I forgot about it. That's what I, I was like. Why in the world am I doing parliament debate? That's what I gotta do. Where the, I was like, why in the world is my navy or everything so expensive? My navy. Apparently, I'm paying 31 ducats a month over force limit for the navy alone. Oh shit. That's where the money's going. I didn't even think of looking there because that's never been a problem before. Okay. Detach obsolete ships. Ready to unpause or do you still need it? Still fixing the Navy. Once All I get right. that done, I should be better. I'm going to be honest. I am not looking healthy for the foreseeable future. Yeah, that makes sense with your overextension. Um. And I'm in no position to help you. Yeah. Oh my lord. Look at Mexico. I can't. I can't see it. Oh. Okay. Uh, if I sell you maps, does it, that lower your pre prestige? Yep. Okay. It does, yes. If you... I thought so. Share it, not sell maps. And it lowers... Yeah, if I, I have to ask for it, and I'm the one who loses prestige, yes. I did pause real quick. I need to check my TSX B form. Um, no stab loss on Monarch's death actually isn't that bad. Do I just go absolute? I honestly, do you think we would get to absolutism? I mean, I'm down to do it, but that's up to you. I think I'm going to stack Reform Progress, maybe? Hmm. No, let's do this. And then, so how do I offer you... Maps? 
Is there a way to just give you the map? Nope. Damn. Alright. Ready on pause? Yep. Yep, I'm blowing up. Yeah. What? Boom. What? Guess who just fucked themselves over if I played this right? Who? Bane. I'm not sure, this might not work, but if it does, I'm in business. Bingo! Guess who's at war with Spain again immediately? Nice. I'm glad. I actually feel bad, too, so this helps us wade some guilt. Yep. Poor Spain. And they can't even call Portugal in because Portugal won't join against their ally. And has a truce. Oh my god. What's up? Just... If you watch my stream on Discord, Mexico's blowing up. Fun. <clears throat> Where's my other army? Oh, it's still in Africa. I've just been attritioning this whole time. Oops. Now, the important thing is Granada is uh, going to try to take all the credit, so I need to take it from them before they can. Okay, good. So Spain's about to stack like Granada to make my job easier. Hold on, I need to pause while I manage this. Yep. It's, uh... Where are the French particularists? Uh, they're currently in Majorca. No, that's Majorca separatists. They might be in Mexico, because that can happen. You also have Telemkin Separatists in our game. I'm aware. I'm, I'm playing whack-a-mole, basically. Yep. All right, ready on pause? Yep. Oh, Barcelona's just revolted. Oh, that stack wiped a 14k stack, damn it. Good news, province is killing some of your rebels for you. Yeah, I see. Thank you. How's my overextension looking? No, no, Spain is occupying the lowlands. However, will I survive without the lowlands? Oh, for goodness sake. Can my generals quit dying on me? Oh, the French particularist on Newfoundland. Oh, um, okay. At least that answers that question. Yeah. 
mean, ideally, if I could just build a border around Granada, then Spain... Well, like, no, I guess they could still do it. So I guess the real priority is going to be just what it already was. Take Valencia. Cut them off from the Mediterranean. Great timing. I lost my Lita. Yep, I just got that event. I'm actually pausing real quick while I just take care of all your marriages. Yeah. Uh. Brandenburg. Who else do I need? Uh. Palatinat, Naples, Savoy. Yeah, no wonder Rebels are successful. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. I know you just need to make overextension difficult, right? But this is excessive because I'm a little over 100, yes. That's not what they want. But at the same token, this is basically my empire about to explode, right? Yeah, you... I mean, in theory, the catch is it's wrong religion, wrong culture... And you took a lot of it very far away from your capital. That would be incredibly hard to manage in this time period. Okay, that's taken care of. There's also a native rising on top of all of this. I could use some of those, if only there was a way to share them. Nope. Not unless I can influence you, which I can't. I don't know how Spain made it there. Uh, it's fine. Oh, there's a battle somewhere? Oh, yeah. Okay, hang on. Wait for the battle to be over, and then I'm going to peace out and take what I want. Ready? Okay, uh, I'm going to core and then I'll be ready. Banana, congratulations, you're on your own. That's not a terrible uh, chunk. You even got that gold mine. Yep. I will say, I think we've probably destroyed Spain economically and militarily. Because, mm -hmm. I want to see, so, if, uh, where's the economic math mode, trade good, gold? Um, uh, yeah, I own... I'm probably about to become the new dominant trade power in Sevilla once I core everything. Yeah. Which was the plan between that and personal union on Portugal eventually.
Let me know when you're ready. I'm just looking at buildings. I'm ready. Spain is probably like, oh no, but also, oh yes. At least they can beat Granada now. Sieging down Valencia all by themselves. Because I didn't give Granada access to go through my territory or Spain. I have some separatist sentiment. Great. Valid. How's my under my overextension is starting to decrease at least. Mm. If I can make it two years, I have some. Uh, the I have what I need in process, right? The issue is making it two years. Oh, I did forget to take my Spain on a uh, claim on Spain. Oh, you released Galicia as a vassal. All right, nice. Yep. Could do a reconquest later. There's not much, but eh. With that in core, I should be okay. What's the closest rebel to enforcing demands? Uh, Californian separatist? Nice. I kind of want to see that happen. I don't have anything in California, though. Yeah, it can happen as far south as, like, left Mexico. Oh, really? Alright. Mm -hmm. they, they can get cores depending on events and stability. A little dumb, but okay. Is it any more dumb than the United States getting cores randomly on provinces that are not United States yet and have never rebelled in their life? Is that a reference to this game or to no. um, Mexican-American War? No, that's a reference to this game. That it can happen. Okay. I thought you were referencing the Mexican-American War where in um, Victoria 2, you get a reconquest of your core, which you never owned. Which, honestly, kind of has a fair point to real life, too. Where it's like, yeah, how is this our claim if we never had it? And the answer is, who knows. Alright. The game of whack-a-mole is finally starting to ease. I just took some claim, a claim in Mexico. Mm -hmm. If I go to war, oh god, why is there always something that pops up? <laughs> Granada hiding in Cordoba because neither Granada nor Spain has access through me. And Spain has to siege down Granada or Garnada just to get to Cordoba. Yeah. Real quick, can you see... You can't see Cuba, can you? Mm, uh, yes, I can. Denmark's down here colonizing it. Oh, good. They should be. Like, that is historically what should be happening, is everyone should be colonizing in the Caribbean. Well, At this point in time, Spain basically had Mexico, but the Caribbean was a mess of... Literally oh, Poland them. wants me to help against Austria and Russia. I accepted because I don't want to take the negatives. Yep. I can join the war on Russia's side to help. Yeah, Austria didn't join. No, they. Oh, they're not, never mind. They're not a group. Yeah, Austria's at a different war, so they're not involved. Oh, thank like, God. Yeah, Poland declared war, and it looks like um, Russia did not honor the alliance with Austria. Yeah, I'd always say the allies, but that doesn't mean they'll actually join. Okay, good Honestly, to know. probably fine. I doubt Russia's going to make it all the way to France when they can 
worry about Polar Lithuania first. But yeah, apparently I can intervene on Russia's side to help them against their enemies, Poland and France. I am not allowed to join Poland and France's side because you're only allowed to intervene on behalf of the less great powers. Okay. It reminds me of when I was playing uh, my port uh, my Portugal game, and um, Vijaynagar joined the League War because they hated me so much. How? Because um, they just they didn't intervene in war because they were great power. Oh, okay. On behalf of the side with less great powers. Okay, I just got a national unrest minus one from my national ideas, which historically is weird. The uh, Californian separatists are the m ones closest to enforcing at the moment. I don't understand where you are. Oh, that's the Californian. Oh, these both are Californian. Fine. All, all of the Caribbean basically is cause of the Californian Republic. Hopefully I'll get called into the war with Tunis soon, because I really need another province on them. Alright, I've put a sizable dent into the California Republic revolt, which is the one I need to. I'm making self-governing colonies for now so they can expand on their own. Settler chance, but I don't even have any settlers. Nice. Alright, I'm below. I'm at 85% overextension. I'm claim on Kilwa's colonizing the Cape of Africa. What? Okay. Kilwa owns the Cape of Good Hope. Because no one in Europe has gotten there yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe I should go expansion just so I can go beat up Kilwa. I feel like that'd be a really easy game. That is genuinely funny, though. A little bit, yeah. Alright. I'm finally starting to get somewhere with the remainder of the Rebels. Yay. I, I need to break off the alliance with Savoy. I don't want to keep going toward the Pope. I accepted it just to... Uh, I just realized, were you called into that war? Nope. I have a 1-4-1 one one as Genoa, a... Not the Pope. What? They declared war on Genoa, not the Pope. Alright. I got a 1-4-1 one one as an heir. I, I abdicated them or whatever it is. I, I pushed them out a window. Basically.
just about burn the vision. I'll do that. I am really enjoying this whole um, fabricate claim on area ability. That's fine. Okay, I'm having too much pop up. I need to deal. Yeah, that's fair. I need to feed my cat anyway, so you're fine. Um, where are my national ideas? I want to see how that's going. What's next? Ooh, native- Ooh! Hello! Alright, uh, I was just looking at some advisors I want, I might want to get. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm debating if I take the hit, a uh, huge money hit for plus three Diplo, but honestly I don't think I do. I think I want to do this. 
Alright, ready on pause? I like how this has become the weird twist where I'm suddenly being the colonizer while you're the one, like, focused on mainland Europe. Well, my plan, I think, now is I'm going to go around Africa because no one else is doing it at all. I won't lie. I thought I'd consider it when you mentioned Kilwa, but then it feels like I'm trying to cuck you a little bit, right? Yep. Yeah, that, is, that would be true. Part of me is thinking of going through the Pacific myself to try for Indonesia. Melt at 13. And I think I was the first to get it, so I can bully whoever I want. Just like a wheel. Why is Tunis still supporting the independence of Geneva? Oh, the printing press bond in the Palatinade. Nice. That's an ally of mine, too, so I could try and get them to give it to me. Oh, sh uh, I got a corruption event and just suddenly started losing a lot of money. Yep, yeah, that'll happen sometimes. I think I'm gonna go war Denmark and subsequently Spain soon. By soon, I mean a couple of years, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, a four three three for Zanea, that's much better. Sweden plans to attack Norway. Love that. Alright. No, not my, not Henry. Henry is dead. Oh no. Yes, Henry is dead. Now George is dead. <clears throat> I feel like there's only like three names that are available for British monarchs. Pretty much. Alright, I'm out of the war Genoa at least, so I don't have to worry as much about that now. What's my rebel situation looking like? Uh, some French particulars, and where's the Spanish West Indies one still?
What? Um, the Center of Reformation keeps converting all my lowlands provinces. Gotcha. I want to say yeah, I've accepted Flemish and I got rid of the Dutch, so I have no revolt coming. The only Dutch are currently in the hands of Holland, who hates me for converting Don Bush to Flemish. Uh, do you have a peace with, a truce with Spain? Yes. Yep. Four years. Yep. Oh, Paltonot offered me, um, knowledge sharing. Great. Nice. Oh, good oh. news, it's <clears throat> League War time. Good time to dissolve the HRA if we want. Uh, yeah, why not? Because I have this wall in the Empire cast this belly. That's what made me not do it originally. But, I don't know. I feel like it's just better to do it and if I get, and hope I keep the war goal right. Because mm -hmm. then that allows me to push my border much further to the east with no real worry if I keep it. Portugal is on the Protestant League. No great powers on either side so far. How do I join? You have to click on the HRE place and then you can choose a side. You're sticking Catholic, right? My idea is I'm going to join whichever side Spain's not on. I really don't care who wins, I just want to be of Spain. Well, I think Spain's going to go Catholic, but I was also going to go Catholic. Oh, wait, no, but we need to be against Austria to dissolve the HRE, don't we? Yep. I want to say a little bit of fuck it, and let's just both voice our support behind... Um, Protestantism here. Oh yeah, I'm you down on that side. Portugal will appreciate me, I'm sure. I am waiting to see you join it before I do myself. My religious unity is going not a hundred percent anymore. Oh right, because I'm British, so I get religious chaos as a special magic event. I uh, love that. Do you think you can convince the Ottomans to break their alliance with Tunis? Uh, hold on. I'm having some issues here. The Ottomans are already wanting to end my, um, ally because apparently you're a rival to them, the Polish are a rival to them. Yep. Uh, would you be able to break your rivalry? I can swap them. Yeah. Uh, Russia. Boom. Uh, have you declared support in the League War yet? You're still waiting for Spain? Yeah, I'm still waiting on who joins. Usually I just try to join the winning side because I'm that guy. Unless I'm Prussia. And if I'm Prussia, I'll join whatever side I want because who cares? There, did that help? It may or may not have because they've also rivaled me, so. No, same modifier. Um, yeah, so it, they need to change rivals too. Improve relations. If I could declare war on them and force them, but uh, yeah, good luck.
I'm going to do what I can to try and keep this. Because if I can use them as a sledgehammer to free Hungry, right? Then even if we don't dissolve the HRE, I have an easier time. Right? Mm -hmm. Ready on pause? If I declared war on Tunis right now, uh, the Ottomans are bigger than I am. But I could call Poland in, and we would outnumber the Ottomans. Yeah, if I called Poland in against Tunis, uh, they would join, and I'm pretty sure Poland could just take the brunt of it. Now yourself. Nobody asked your opinion. Uh, I don't, neither you or Spain have declared in the league war. I think I'm just going to declare myself then. Yeah, if you go on Portugal's side. Although I will note that sometimes your rivals join the opposite side, so be careful. Yeah, Ottomans broke the alliance. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get that back. You have the historical friend modifier now. If they join the HRE league war, then... Savoy just joined me on the Protestant side. Yep. Spain just joined the Catholic side, okay. Any excuse to beat Spain up is a good excuse in my book. The only problem is it's going to be up to uh, um, Bohemia. Uh, so hopefully Bohemia likes me enough to give me a lot of provinces in Spain. Which reminds me, I should mark all of Spain as, a, as vital interest. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pause so we can do some vital interest shenanigans. Yep. For me, it's just I want Spain, all of it. Oh right, Brandenburg is my ally, but they've declared for Catholic, other uh, Catholic. Well, um, buy that alliance. Oh. And Venice just for shits and giggles. I would never turn down an opportunity to annex Venice. Yep, Spain is still a great power. So right now there are three great powers on the Protestant side and one on the Catholic side. Portugal and Spain are going to war. This will be fun. Is Austria a great power? Nope. Alright. But it does mean that the great powers left to join are what? Poland. Oh no, Austria is a great power now. Okay, never mind. Oh, because uh, Hungary. I imagine that Russia is probably going to side with the Catholics because of the alliance with Austria. And we might get Poland to join us on the Protestant side. If we can get the Ottomans to join the Protestant side, we're in business. 
because the Ottomans can more than handle Russia at this stage of the game. But Russia is also probably why Bohemia hasn't declared yet because they go. The game is by manpower, and right now Russia has a lot of manpower. Mm hmm. Ready for me on pause? Yep, you're good. Oh, the Pope's getting shot on today. <clears throat> I think this is the first time ever I've um, owned all prods of my pro of my culture group during the Age of Reformation. Alright. Oh! I have the alliance back with the Ottomans. Now I need to do everything I can to, can to maintain a military and navy large enough to keep that, right? Mm -hmm. Holland has... Oh, my... On the Protestant side. Oh, my money is bad right now. I knew that visor was going to be a huge risk, but I need mana, right? That's just what it comes down to. Am I not paying the Palatinat for... Oh, they're not selling me... I thought they've been selling me printing press all this time. <laughs> they're not. The Teutons and Riga have gone on the uh, Catholic side. Not a huge threat, but not good to have more enemies, right? Austria's in a golden era, good for them. Maybe I pop mine during this, right? What? I still have my golden era. Because, yeah, that affects your morale by 10%, so... Yeah, and then I just try and sledgehammer mainland Spain. Alright. Renaissance is in London, which totals... You mean printing press? Oh, there's League War. Oh, I'm pausing. Spain, get fucked. I should have brought my armies down. Um, yep. uh, oh, I can't see what their what the opponent's army size is because of um, everything. I also keep forgetting to make Galicia a um, thingy that can't join wars. Much. No, can't join. Cannot join wars. Yeah, the. Scootage. Oh, right. Yeah, I got the two turned around. You're right. Yep. Alright. Don't worry. I... Well, what's happening with Venice? Oh, uh, they were getting the killed already. Yeah. Wait, what's happened to the Pope? Um, they oh, shit. Four wars in a row. Alright. You ready for me on pause? And they are no longer allied with me. That is real. I didn't even notice. I was wondering why it was no longer over the Diplo limit. Alright. I'm going to try and get the next round of knowledge sharing from the Palatinade. Fair.
there's a fleet with some Spanish troops headed for you, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about that. The big other advantage is uh, Portugal's on my team as well. I'm going to just go for Burgos right now. The sooner we can get them out of this, right? Yep, the sooner I can basically do nothing else. Oh, I just teched up so I don't have the points to barrage. Oops. Russia did not enter the league war, surprisingly. Interesting, they must have not been invested in us. Why why they did it now. Uh, I am curious. Oh, Austria is no longer allied to Russia. Ah, uh, they pro Oh, yeah, that's right, because when... Right, because Russia, when they were attacked by Poland... Okay. <gasps> we got some very... We got a lot much better RNG this session. Kind of makes up for the last session a little bit. General York, he was sieging Toledo. If we can take out Spain here, I would preferably like to try and get rid of all their armies if possible. Don't know how possible that is, but... Siege of Toledo down. Gonna probably lose the siege at Galicia, that's whatever. Oh, who's entering the coalition against me? Uh, Some uh, Mexican states. The Mesoamericans, nothing that's relevant. Uh, I, I may still declare on that coalition depending on the size, honestly. Bad news, Galicia got stack wiped by Spain. I don't think they're going to survive much longer. Oh, are they independent? I thought they were your vassal. Yeah, they are. Ooh, are we about to see the end of this, of this, the, the Portuguese, Spanish, freaking, I fucking hate that event? Because it makes no sense. What? Uh, eternal friendship. Can you help me go with Lisbon? Oh yeah, I'm rescuing it. The printing press has appeared in Paris. I have it in London right now, but uh, I'm big, so it's going to need to be on a few more provinces yeah. first. Um, oh, I'm heading for bankruptcy. Can you spare any amount of money? Not bankruptcy, but like financial hurt. Yep. Uh, I probably should fire the advisor first, but obviously if I can keep the extra mana points, that's huge. Damn it. Oh well. I'm going for the stack wipe. Yep, no fun. <sighs> Yay, loyal to the Pope. I'm, I'm a Pope sucker. I, I don't like that phrasing. Would you prefer Pope fucker? A little bit. Also, I would love if someone could siege Astoria so that I can completely obliterate the Spanish Navy. Where? Funny. Yep. Okay, good. Portugal's doing it for me. Where is it? Oh, up north, by Leon. Oh, nice. They're giving the provinces to Galicia. Hopefully, they get some. If they return Galician cores, that's all I need. And Portugal's occupied Astorias, because of course they have. Oh, I'm getting naval invaded, but Portugal caught it. Cool. Nice. That is hilarious. The code names game that they're playing right now and is um, Paris is the clue. Who? Um, like Chill's group. Oh, okay. I'm gonna start taking out Spanish North Africa. Fair. Yeah. 
they might be. Yeah, Spain has 35k army. It's almost certainly mercenaries because they still haven't recovered from the last two wars. I don't think they particularly handled well being at war and then being at war again. The Spanish AI or the AI in general? What? The Spanish AI or the AI in general? Spanish AI. Okay. I just wish Bohemia would start piecing some people out. Oh, we need to rescue Bohemia. Oh, well, that might be what their problem is, yeah. The good uh, news is, the League War modifier is plus 50 points, so they won't end for a while. Okay. I'm turning around to go help Ferrara. That's fair. Uh, I can keep beating up Spain if you want. Uh, let me at least finish Fed so you have a little more free oh, yeah, reign down here. I'm just saying, I only have 60 army right now. Russia has an an ally with an alliance with the two. So. Can you send your 30Ks down here, so at least one of them on Fed, so I can send over a Ferrara? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm getting a naval invasion again on my on that province I took. That's a Berber uh, state. Yeah, they, they already are. Portugal is taking it. Yeah, I'm gonna go try to siege down the the, the Mediterranean islands. I would like to ideally try and collapse Spain if possible. No, my diplomat in Tunis. I forgot to actually fabricate claims with them. Siege of Fez is over. You're free to do a move about the country. Alright. I'm going to try and siege through Ferrara into Austria, because we need to get okay. Bohemia. Once Spain's out, I can help with that. I'll just keep beating up Spain for now, because fuck them. I'm so sick of looking at their stupid, ugly yellow face. I'm currently taking the cape. I love how Switzerland is seizing North Africa 2 and Brunswick. Besides, Spain's a new target because the AI is dumb. Alright, let's steal some more ships from Spain. Hopefully, I can get their flagship. That'd be great. Palmer's oh, uh, broken. Nice. The Spanish Navy has been completely eliminated from the game, other than, like, Excellent. eight ships hiding someplace. I'm guessing they're hiding somewhere in the Mediterranean and or the Americas. Very likely. Uh, I can see what I can see in the Americas, since I do have a ton of Caribbean land, right? Mm. Oh. Um, oh, not that one. I'm not seeing anything over here. <sighs> Denmark entered into a coalition against me? Okay, I didn't think they had enough. You were sure you had enough for what? I didn't think Denmark had enough to enter into the coalition against me. Interesting. My guess is once the League War is over, the coalition goes away, though. Probably. I'm not sure. Oh, what did I lose? Oh! Uh, the Teutons and the Hungarians are kind of rampaging through central Germany. Nice. Uh, not really, because that just did a huge blow to my army. I have the manpower, but it still hurt. I'll let Brunswick and Switzerland finish Spain off. That's not my problem anymore. I need more of our allies to go for the troops. A large portion of the enemy army is somewhere between essentially Munich, Frankfurt, and uh, Hamburg. Okay. 
no, they're sieging Luxembourg. How dare they? Yeah, you know, part of the problem with the League War is that early on, getting people out basically requires 99% war score against them, because until then, the minus 50 modifier is a problem. Yeah. Seriously, gang, please stop doing that. I hate when autonomous sieging skips the province next to the fort and just goes straight for the fort. It's like, no, line of supplies, you idiots. <sighs> Supply lines matter. Oh, Galicia is over here in Constance. Nice. There's a huge um, uh, train of allies coming to help now. Mm -hmm. Where, um, where is my army? No, the other army. There, oh, I nice scared them off there. Okay. They have three forts that are very effectively managing to keep me out in the south. Yep. Two by Ferrara, one by Austria. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're attacking me. I'm, I'm in so much trouble. Where are they attacking you? No, they're not attacking. They're good. I was debating going to siege the south, and then I decided I'm not sieging the south. They've got about 150k troops up there right now. Unfortunately, I have some pretty shit to your generals. We actually could have won that if I didn't run away, potentially, but I had to try and save my army. We were on a fort, and I was worried about the potential of a stack wipe. Mm -hmm. Who just left Flanders? We're starting to piece people out. That's Liege, which I think was on the Catholic side. How dare you convert Cork to Protestant? That's blasphemous. Alright, the South has broken in one spot. The issue is we still need to get through another fort. Savoy siege in Spain down. I can send my other army to the mainland, and then I'll be in a better place. Uh oh. Uh, I pause. I do apologize, but I need to see where this army might be going. Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, why is it not moving? I just got stack wiped. Half of my army is gone. Oof. Uh. They broke it through into Paris, so. Oh, shit. I'm sending my army. I've got 60k troops available. I, I hate to ask this, but any spare money so I can rebuild that army? Mm -hmm. I bet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Warning, you just sent a gift. Only your most recent gift will affect relations. You can't get more relations. Oh, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17, uh, 18, 19, no, 20. 13, so I can't 20, do this. This is the same yet, which is fine. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, thank you. That basically I paid for I the new army. Paris in time. You want me to send my other army over to help? Let's see here. If I join the war, let's see the siege. Oh, I don't want it. No, 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 too late. Okay, good. It worked out in time.
Paris was under assault by a 60k army of British troops with re reinforcements from Frankfurt. I think that battle's over in my favor. The Battle of Paris is over. My apologies for your prosperity. Hey, at least I kept the Paris, right? Oh, okay. I'm pausing again so that I can re. like, I can form this army, right? Yeah. I'm unpausing now. I'm gonna leave these armies by Alencon and then take Kane back once it's beneficial. I just wanna wait till Hungary's three star generals are out of the way. Genuinely, the uh, Romans are like, whatever. Oh, what side's Holland on? Holland's on our side. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think that's Augsburg oh, coming. Notice. Oh, yeah. Teutonic Order and Riga joined. That's fine. Yeah, my guess is that the only reason Spain isn't pieced out is because they still have armies waltzing around Central Europe. And once that over, we should be fine. Up and up, mind the armies. Parked in Paris, I promise I'm not second the countryside too much. I'm not concerned about your army, honestly. And I'll also <laughs> hello Glitcher. It's, it, it's kind of a joke about how historically that would be a huge problem, but... Fair. I'm just kind of freaked out at the moment, because this is... This, this should have been a lot easier than it has been. Right? The League War is easily one of the most overwhelming events in the game when it comes to things going on at once. And the issue is it's kind of early-ish, too. Early is not the best way to describe it, but, like, it's still at a point where it shouldn't be too chaotic normally, aside from this. Uh, if we could free up what's going on in Italy, right? Yeah, I'll rush in. That's where Spain is, and I want to pick on them, so. Yeah, I see. I, I can relieve a few forts. I'm getting a lot of negative money events, and I'm starting to get pissed off. Yeah, fair. Uh, I would hold a little bit. Goodbye to your army. I'm trying to get my armies in position, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Uh. I put everyone there. It's fine. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not helping him, unfortunately, there. Yep, it's fine. Oh, they pieced somebody out on our side, I think. Rodenberg. No one important. Oh, we need to try and get to Bohemia. I just realized they're fully sieged. Yep. And we have not gotten to, to Vienna yet, which is the primary goal. If we could get Spain out, that'd be great, but Spain don't want to fall. This is very much up to us at this point. Bohemia is definitely irrelevant in this war. 29k manpower army, but no manpower. Yeah, the north, is, I think, is fine. Brandenburg is up north, getting the shit kicked out of them by a bunch of HRE miners. That is 170k troops in Italy for some reason. I'd also appreciate it that you don't have all these three-star generals, but unfortunately Spain gets an absurdly high army tradition from beating up the Mexican provinces all the time. No, I'm not saying that. Oh, shit. Uh, Montua, because we don't control it anymore. I really wish we could... Be the main controller. Yeah. Oh. 
Who's that Lou Beck's out? They basically broke them in half. Yeah, that's fair. They had come anyway. I'm going to see if I can try and kill some of Brandon Bug and, uh... Oh, they're leaving. Shit. Game, do you mind? Did I just get? St oh, good God! The fort rules in this game don't make any sense. Two armies left through the same province. One of them could move, and the other couldn't. So one of them got stuck, and the other didn't. This game's fort rules do not exist. Yeah. I don't care what random people on the internet say. They are wrong, and they deserve to be told that. Oh, that's Trier out. That's good. Yep. Anversburg. I'm making a move on Galway right now. If we can get Galway and, um, what's this? Oh, there's some Austrian land in the north that I'm working on. You know what, actually? I'm going to see if I can alleviate Brunswick here, right? I'll leave Galway for Savoy. Mm -hmm. Did Poland not join? Poland didn't join shit. No. If they did, Probably. this would be over by now. Probably, because yeah, they could easily, but they're not interested. Especially because they can't really... They'd have to just declare war on... Austria directly, or I guess Hungary in this case, which they don't really have the influence to at the moment. Where is my navy? Who's that? Ansbach. Yep. Annexed by Austria. Austria getting greedy. Yeah. The important thing here is that Spain currently is completely occupied, and thus, once they're out, that's a big blow to that side, because the only major nation left is Austria. I'm... Oh, shit. Oh, sh I, I just lost a lot of units. I got stack wiped? Fucking hell, man. Yep. I'm about ready to just give up on this game because I'm so genuinely frustrated. We. If, we can, hang on. Can we peace out of the League War? No, 14% Religious League War CV. What would it ask me to give up? I'll pay 274 ducats, so some loans. Um, France will release Catalonia. <laughs> okay, so that would be, I think, literally, yeah, no, that'd be Navarra, so it'd be... Barcelona area. Yep. Um, I'm also going to transfer my Spanish land to you in case I do peace out. Yep, that's a good plan. Because if, if you transfer enough to me, I might, I might even be able to take... I, might, I have enough of Spain controlled, I probably could do stuff. Don't forget Fez. I know, I know, I'm just... Okay. Keep in mind, a lot of people are in this, so I'm going to have to scroll a little bit each time. Right? For sure. Mm -hmm. That's the same problem as when I do an HRE Vassal Swarm, which is the worst. Oh, 
Oh, because I gave that up, they want more, too. I should have considered that. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm going to have to fight in this a little longer, I think. Mm -hmm. I can help with money, at least. I've got some. I, I hate the amount of a, a manpower that HOE Emperor gets, too. Yep. It's absurd. But it does kind of make sense with the historical way of how they could take manpower from them. If anything, what it means is that the members of the HRE should be losing manpower. Another reason they shouldn't want to be in it. The real problem, I think, really is that it's too easy to be in the HRE. There's no real drawbacks. Would you be able to send me about 100 ducats? Yep. I'm going to see if I can keep them from taking Catalonia. That That's the big thing that I want to prevent. Yep. Oh, I would need 2,103 ducats. Um, War webs instead, maybe? That brings it down significantly. I'll, of course, lose a little over time, right? Oh, let's do that. Um, where's indebted to the burgers? How come I'm still not allowed to take Spain when I've lost nothing and they're never going to make it to Britain? Seriously. You guys are not making it to my territory. I don't know why you're so um, possessive of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you mind if I have them break the alliance between us? Sure. That's fine. That just saved me a ton of cash. Yeah, that's fair. I rather, and I'd rather you over the Ottomans because you're a player I'm working with. Yeah, yeah you can get that back relatively simple. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I lost a Belarus Island, but realistically, I didn't want that. That was taken by mistake, and I just decided to keep it. Yep. Oh no, I am no longer allowed in France. Don't give any of them access. Oh no, I'm not. Any... Yep. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to retreat back to Spain and just hold on to that and say fuck you all. Uh, I am going to do this real quick, though. Uh... Oh. Uh, I think I need a month to pass in game, so would you mind if I start us up? Start what up? The game. Oh, um, one second. Okay. I need to increase the base manpower in Iceland. I'm trying to make every single province 10 development, period, just for the lulls. Fair enough. Okay, uh, good when you are. Yep, I no longer have, can see France, so as long as no one can... Yeah. I guess the catch is, can any of your allies, do they have access through France? Uh, nobody should have the ability to go through me. I don't right now, like normally, so... Um, I'll, I'll, like the lowlands will be siege down, and that's pretty much it. Everybody um, wants to get it through me, but they're not going to. No. So if I can just hold on a while longer, they can't get into Spain, I won't let them. So the worst thing they're going to do is siege down Holland, which who cares? In an ideal uh, world, when you could make trades, I would trade the Lowlands for Spain and call it a day. But that is not how this game works. It kind of should be, because historically that stuff uh, did happen. into it for the sequel, I believe. Have you, have you been reading the Tinto Talks? No, I really just... I barely care about this game, I'm going to be real. it. I, I, I have no real interest, right? Yeah. Uh, Bohemia is low enthusiasm. That is unfortunate because I want more of Spain. The good news is, other than the low ones, nothing of mine is occupied. Frankfurt 
is, uh... Yep, the most powerful nation left that's actually doing anything is Portugal. But I have no interest in jumping into the... Could I fight the North? No, I can't. There's no way I can. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm? They just pieced um, Spain out. Spain will cede Alicante, Jativa, Cuenca, Toledo, Granada, and Almeria to Great Britain. They will cede Leon to Galicia and release Corsica and Majorca as sovereign states. Excellent. Bohemia is currently guaranteeing uh, all those nations. I'm on the same side as Bohemia, so if I were to have the... I believe I can declare on Corsica. Bingo. Beautiful. The League War might be lost, but I control the lower half of, of, of Iberia, and that's good enough for me. Look at the beautiful heart of Iberia. I do hate Cordoba there. <laughs> I love it. That's the kind of that's the kind of chaos I'm here for. Fair enough. I will say, I would like to see, and I know they're never going to, I would like to see Paradox introduce a, like, game mode that would encounter achievements called Chaos Game Mode, where it's just designed to make the AI, like, swap behaviors, basically. Build spy network in New York. Hopefully, I can do something there soon. Now, let's see here. If I were to try to piece out of the HRE now. What would they want? I'd have to release High New and pay a couple of ducats. Like. Oh, no, I'd have to release High New. Is it just High New? It looks like it's just high news, but I can't tell. I, I don't know. I can't see a screen, right? Oh, for sure. I can also just give them money, and honestly, that's the easy route, because um, I can afford money. Money's easy. So I'm going to wait a little bit and then just bribe them, basically. All right. Or, hmm. By the way, you were right. That coalition started to dissipate immediately. Not surprised. I'm sad that they don't want me to return any province to Norway. I'd love to return them to Norway so that I can then um, take it back. Yeah. All right. I could also just cancel Galicia. That wouldn't be the worst thing. Like, actually, I'm going to just do that. Cancel Galicia. Which... Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, yeah, perfect. What? I'll wait till the month is over, and then I'm going to be out of this war. No problem. Spain can have Galicia call it a day. Was Denmark in the league war? I just realized. Uh, no. They weren't earlier. No, they're not. Damn it, waiting one more month and ticked it in their favor. I'll kiss the word all. That's fine. The best part is I had that much money in the bank as we speak, so I don't even need any loans. That was a productive war. I feel accomplished for huh. my part. Yeah, my loan situation is a little worse for wear, but I did use that money to get the institution, which is why I was trying to sell you before, and I forgot yeah, to. Fair. If I declared war on Majorca... Oh, do you have printing press? Because they're currently in trouble. What's that? Oh, you have printing press, okay. I have what? 
the institution. Uh, yes. I... Oh, no. All my printing press money went to pay off the HRE, so... Nope, not yet. I'm ready when you are. Oh, I can sell it to the Ottomans for 21 ducats a month. Nice. I, I have to do that. Yeah, that's a good choice. That gets me out of my debt. Yep. Yeah, I don't have it, but my <sighs> capital has it. Yeah, your capital region, frankly. I love how Corsica is at war with Galicia, even though Galicia is independent of me now. That's probably one thing they should have tweaked, but you know Paradox. Oh, Spain... Uh, well, it's, it's almost never relevant. Spain's... Yeah, I realized after I started speaking. Spain has new allies of Brandenburg and Pope Pan. <clears throat> Great Britain's at war. Cannot create an alliance until 63 with Pope Man. Oh, well. Oh, I should probably actually go invade Corsica. That would make sense. Because I can use that to continue. Oh, Tunis is going to attack Corsica. Get out of here. But yep, Tunis does have a permanent claim on Corsica. <laughs> yeah. Actually... Ooh, that's what I'm going to do. I'll let Tunis declare on Corsica, I'll vassalize Corsica, and then I'll murder the fuck out of Tunis. As long as they can't call the Ottomans in, which I am. Actually, I guess they technically could. But if it's a defensive war, I can call all of my allies in. Which means I would be able to call in Poland, I would be able to call in... Oh, I, I wouldn't even be calling France because I'm not allied to them. No! Not Henry. Well, I again shortly. Oh good, I had a queen. We can't ally for a decade. Yep. Why do I have... Clemchen Separatist? Clemchen? Yeah. What do you have in Tolumkin? I don't. I have nothing in Africa. Oh! At Arguin. Yeah. Yeah, at Arguin. Target of the Coalition of Denmark. Hey, Ted, Denmark, get your crap together. Cowards. Oh, I have a colonist I'm not using. Majorca wants to be my ally. I regret to inform you that I will be taking Mallorca. That's fine. I, I was a little distracted and couldn't afford to guarantee them. I never really insurance. wanted it. I just kind of took it out of misclick. If I'm being honest, why I want more now? Since we've kind of swapped for a little bit more of the old world versus the new world. Is I'm more looking at Portugal's colonies, which I know you're not going to want to give up, but I'm looking. Oh yeah, I don't care about the colonies. I just want Portugal. Because if they can't have a new world, Portugal will start colonizing the Caribbean for or the uh, Africa for me, and that's perfectly fine. I don't care about the Americas, basically ever in any game I play. Uh, yeah, Corsica. Oh, never mind. Corsica got war with Tunis and the Ottomans. Nope, not happening. I am not. Er, actually, let me think about this. What could I call it? Sorry. I will say maybe letting Tunis take them, and I can see if I could break the alliance between them. No, I, I mean, I can just take the province. That's not the problem. The question is, if I vassalize them instead, who do I call in as my ally to fight the Ottomans? And the answer is actually just Poland and Portugal and Baden. I forgot I'm allied with Baden. Why the fuck am I allied with Baden? 
sledgehammer father. I don't know. I think it was probably because I accepted the royal marriage and didn't realize who it was. Because I'm way under. Def I have only three alliances. Well, keep in mind, we'll, you'll have me back in about eight years, right? Oh, I still have more slots I can use. Let's see. Nah, I'm not dragon pulling in this war. They would get crushed by the Ottomans. Oh, I have a free diplomat slot as well. Alright, ready when you are. Alright, ready? Yep. The Ottomans have arrived in Corsica and can't do anything. I hate to lose army tradition, but that was the better option. What determines general stats, army professionalism, or army tradition? It's tradition. I thought so. I should have maybe rolled one before I hit that then. Because mine kind of suck. Oh, that's still quite an upgrade, actually. Good news, you're the number one great power in the world now. How am I beating the Ottomans? I guess all the colonization uh, stuff. Even for printing press and they have it. Uh, I am selling it to them, though. True. So they'll pass you. But I'll make a shit ton of money off it. Yep. Italy looks so disgusting. Italy looks so realistic. True. I do love how Venice is cut in half by Ferrara. That's gotta piss them off to no end. And Milan is just gone. I need nobility loyalty so bad right now. A coalition consisting of Spain and nobody else. The best kind of coalition. Who? Uh, what? I dare you, Spain. I fucking dare you. You okay? Me? Yeah. I'm mocking Spain. I know, it was more a joke. Okay. I think I'm going to risk my Mexican colony going into a massive amount of overextension. That's fair. Oh. Where, where were the separatists? Oh. They didn't spawn. Okay, cool. Like it. Who would like my alliance? Bohemia? Uh, I feel like they're not going to be a great alliance anytime soon. Uh, I need. We needed Austria to not get that. Yep. It happens. Austria has embraced the printing press. Okay. 
and Augsburg has become an electorate. And I have a royal marriage with Baden, I guess. I'm mad at Baden because of in my um, Mulhouse game. game right now. Yeah. What is it? What happened? They're my rival, and um, shenanigans happened. I went after them first. Poland is at war with Bohemia. Oh, Poland, I can't uh, accept that. Uh, the, the Austria that adjoined, so the only ones you're going to be at war with are Bohemia, Saxony, Switzerland, and Dithmarschen. Austria refused to join because rivalry. So you can join and you'll probably... I accepted then. Yeah. This should... Be a pretty easy war as far as wars go. Should I do global terrorists and envoy travel time and expansionist ideas? Or should I do expand infrastructure costs and infrastructure ideas? Uh, what was the first one under expansion? Uh, global terrorists and envoy travel. Yeah, ladder. Ladder will save you usually money, but the former won't really do anything. Alright. I'm going to unpause now. Alright. Okay. I will say, I think the country is that will modify it probably shouldn't do anything if it's like a Native American tribe. Potentially, but that you would need to worry about like power projection mechanic and the distance, which the new game is doing something with that, but we're not there yet. But they are working on stuff for along the lines of what you're thinking of. Sicilian separatists are currently occupying Spain. That's exciting. I should fabricate a claim on it if I can. It needs 60 and it's dying. Yeah, oh well. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to just try and grow my Mexican country a lot, a uh, colony a lot. That'll get you a lot of money. Mexico is one of the best ways to get money. The, the gold mines alone, that's why I really wanted to take this when I saw they had it. Portugal game, um, they usually send me like 250 to 400 ducats uh, every few months. Maybe I should move Mexico to a treasure colony then. Because mm -hmm. that just basically keeps me afloat, right? Uh, I need 90 favors and I currently have 87, damn it. Time to curry favors of Portugal and fast. How do I change what type of colony you are? Uh, it's under the subject menu. Oh, it costs a thousand gold. Mm, wow, that's more than I thought. It could also be based on my economy, which is probably being inflated by the Ottoman stuff, right? Or their economy, because gold-rich area, right? Spanish separatists, I should probably take care of that. Oopsies. Oh. Didn't even think. I let a piece of the Spanish West Indies go. Shit. Oof. Wait, Provence is over here. Let's go. Oh, I should have annexed Provence by now. Hold up. Yep, there. Oh, good. Until my queen region. Ascends the crown, I'll get reduced ability cost. I'm so happy. I'm assuming Toledo is the one with the highest dev? Yes. Can I make Toledo a parliament seat? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Toledo is now a seat in, par in the British Parliament. Nice. Why do I have rebels? Who leaked into my territory? Oh, Portugal. Right. I forgot I'm at war with Dismersion. Poor lowlands are just constantly being shit on by everyone. 
Junior but, and Leo area. I will say that's a little bit of how it went historically, isn't it? <laughs> the only difference is that they ain't getting free anytime soon. Damn it. Bane is beating back the Sicilian Separatists. But mine are dead. Saxony's out. What else has rebellion? Everybody. Valencia and Alicante and Zativa. Go sit my army on Zativa. What is army with? Oh, it's 29. I need more infantry in the front line. Where's my other army? It's up in the. Oh, right. One hundred more. I need one hundred more. I'm debating, but I probably should annex Ireland, unfortunately. I will miss Ireland. But they ain't doing shit anyway. I will say, Provence and Ireland have probably been alive longer than they should have been for this game. Yep. Cannot integrate Ireland while at war. Well, screw you two. Yeah, they have not participated in anything I've been doing in a long time, so it's like, well, no. Finally! Good God. Stupid Catholic nations can't have nice things. Oh, I got some institution spread help. That's nice. French Mexico. What's going on? For, uh, what Polo just did to Bohemia. Oh lord. That is beautiful. Moravia? Oh yeah, that was that was during the, the HRE war. Moravia was in the late. Alright. Isn't it art? Are you ready to continue? Revoking a few privileges I don't need anymore. I wish I could do that. Alright. Disable the call diet. And I think it's about time I got rid of the nobility generalship, which leaves me with just two privileges per estate. No, the reason why I could do it is one really advantageous thing. Because I'm Britain, I took the British ability where every time I give a parliament seat, I get plus one loyalty to every single estate. Yeah. Which is nice. All right. Ready when you are. Cleves insulted me. I think they're butthurt. It's fine. 
I'll be ready next time. By the time this is over, the only things I'll have left are going to be the three monarch privileges, religious diplomats, and supremacy over the crown. I still just wish I could get rid of increased levies, because that's killing me right now. I need a pause for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, no. I need to unpause. Because I need some sieges to finish before I can do what I need to do, right? technically have a port in the Low Countries, thanks to Antwerpen. I could join a coalition against you. Against who? You. Me? Yes. I, do. I don't know, but apparently people are angry and I am one of those people. That's weird. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm guessing Corsica and Tunis, maybe? I don't, well, that's the weird thing, is when I when I took Majorca, that was the last war I was in, it just said Spain was the only one, so... Oh, it's because you had a truce with you at the time. That's why you can't now. Alright. Mind if I unpause? Yep, you're good. Can you see Mexico by any chance? Yeah, now I can. It's a lovely rainbow. It is. I'm trying to kill. Mm -hmm. Hope it's going well. Cannot create alliance until the 70s, but can ally the Pope. Now I just gotta get rid of that stupid alliance with Bottom because of me. Why? Would cost one stability. That's not worth it. I'll have to wait till they're really nice. Oh shit. I didn't know selling Crowns Land would give them extra influence. It makes sense. I just didn't see that in the text, so I didn't think it did. Yeah. His influence, at least partially, is based also on farmland. Okay. Yeah, Oh, shoot. What's up? I made a mistake. Oops. Oh! Excuse me. It 
In November of this year, I should finally be able to get rid of increased levies. Ooh, do I want Mary as my ruler? That sounds like a great plan. Mary, Queen of Scots? Bloody Mary. Yep. Who's my current king? George? Eh, fuck George. What are the, what's the stat difference, if you don't mind me asking? Eh, like four points, I think. Should, uh, should Mary, Queen of Scots, be, uh, be, um, become a Protestant? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you. So, of all the events, that's so dumb. Good news, uh, my queen consort is Portuguese uh, and is the same name as the king of Portugal. Okay. Oh, oh god, I'm an idiot because I'm a queen now. That'd be wild. Like, did I have a woman with the same name? Nope, nope, that wasn't what it was. Huh. I found an odd animal. Hmm. I'm calling it a Kangaroo? What are you doing in Australia? Ideally colonizing it soon. <laughs> I have never colonized Australia fast enough for it to matter. <laughs> Frankly, does it ever? Eh, it's funny. Yeah. It is an achievement. The only, yeah, the only time I ever did it was in my um, Austria Conquer the World game. I've not bothered since. Oh, wait. Increased levies has been repealed. Nice. Oh. I'm finally to, starting to combat the nobility's crown land share, which is 67% of my country. Fair. Ooh. Where am I getting all this? Oh, right, I'm selling to the Ottomans. Bad news, any Protestant province just gained a bunch of unrest. I don't think I have many. I just have all of the ones in um, that part of Europe. Okay, good. Can I get the annexing? Great. I'd love to be able to get Diplomax cheaper. I just m started building a ton of manufacturers. My economy may start to, like, really increase soon. Okay. All right. I'm integrating Provence. If I'm trying to integrate... I'm gonna do, like... Uh, fun fact about Parliament, if you wait one day, it resets the debates. It resets the what? The debates that you can choose from. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. So, now it's development cost, diplomats and nobility influence. Never mind, it's not. Oh, is it a, it's probably a month, isn't it? Maybe. They also maybe patched that, I don't know. It's possible they did with the Great Britain nonsense. Missionaries and missionary strength. Reform growth. Yeah. The only way I finally cut till the nobility is to seize enough land out of them, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, I'll try once more in May. If it doesn't show up then, I'll just be like, okay, whatever. What's my maximum amount of mana points? You can only keep 999, okay. Yep. It's normally 999 until you reach a point when you would, in theory, be getting certain technologies. Ooh. Yeah, okay, it looks like it's a month. Every month it changes. You know? hmm. Yeah, they must have changed it. Some of them changed and some of them didn't. Okay, that's why. I mean, there's also only so many, right? Yeah, but although they added way more with Dominion. True. It used to be way easier to get the one or two you wanted. 
don't unpause just yet. Um, so I'm running against the max Diplo points, but Diplo tech for me is three years ahead of time. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to tech up my capital region a little bit. Or well, actually, is there anywhere with devastation? I'm not seeing any word devastation. Uh, encourage development. I maybe should have done too much in military, but I also did want to increase a little bit now that I don't have, um, what do you call it? The, um, increased levies. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm ready to unpause if you are. Okay, I gotta be careful because... I can only keep seizing land so much more because once I revoke supremacy over the crown, the clergy will have less than 50% loyalty modifier. Which is fine. I can deal. But you know, gotta be careful. Uh, oh, I have some. Uh, one of my colonies has a rebel army going crazy. Makes sense. Maybe I help them with that a little bit. You know, not be a completely shitty overlord. Yeah. Although, historically, France was a very horrible overlord. Yeah, pretty much all of them were. But France was one of the worst, in my opinion. Just look at what happened with Haiti. France's big thing was negligence. They tend to just not be very involved. And sold a lot of it off to the people because they didn't care. Yeah, fair. I think the parts, the only two parts they really cared about were just the loss to Britain. Come on. Spain is still a great power. Spain is no longer a great power. They've been overtaken by the Delhi. You'd love to see it. In contrast, Portugal is a uh, number six. Nice. Malta. I've worked really hard on Malta. I sell holy order. I don't. I can't use holy orders. I'm not Spain. Go away. I've been working on the the beautiful thingy. I've spent like three thousand ducats on that. 
Oh, Savoy. Portugal's allied with Galicia. Excuse me. Thank you. Also, I just care about how long until my Spanish truce is over so I can beat them up again. I wouldn't mind getting involved on that myself. You might be able to declare war on them already, actually. I don't see a truce on your end. Oh, Very yeah, he's done early, so your French truce might be over already. Yeah, I don't see your name on that list. You don't have a truce, I don't think. Pausing. What's Spain's um, army and fleet looking like? Miltech 13, 20k troops, 21 fleet. Uh... Oh, I've been prioritizing Diplo this whole time. Well, that hasn't hurt me, that's not what I need. I will note that they currently are allied with Brandenburg and the Pope. Brandenburg won't join Pope well. Uh, I'll fix the Pope. Uh. They owe me. Pope will no longer join. Okay. I'm more just concerned about... Uh, what do you call it? So, the the Navy's what I'm concerned about, because I don't have a great fleet, right? They have 20 ships. You have more ships than they do. If I'm going to start moving in position and sending my other Navy over there, even if it's they only like... One heavy ship, three light ships, one galley, and 16 transports. Okay, that's not terrible for me if I... I'm going to unpause. Yep. Let's see, what does France have? Yeah, you have twice as many heavies, way more light ships, about the same number of transports, and no galley. So just don't engage in the Mediterranean, you're fine. Actually, that doesn't matter. They have one galley. Yeah, your navy is better than theirs. And then you can take whatever you want, and then in a few years, I'll just declare on them and finish them off. I'll probably just be killing whatever colonial empire they have. Yep. I have claims on most of it. Most of mainland, you mean? Oh, yeah. Yay, Ireland has a cardinal. I'm so proud of them. They got their first cardinal. Yeah, I have claims on the entirety of the Mediterranean, Algiers, South Castile, Aragon, Valencia. I do not have claims on Catalonia if you want to finish that off. Because, yeah, I'm assuming you used a colonialism CV on them. Yeah. Yeah, one thing that was mentioned in the new game is you you have a certain level of control that's modified by how far away provinces are from your capital, modified by various modifiers, like how good you have military, etc. And they've mentioned that mountains make control much harder. A.K.A. it will be a lot harder to invade Spain as France and vice versa. Because they're hoping to make mountains actually matter. See, I understand terrain does play some level of pot, but it's such a tricky thing to balance and not make it like absolutely suck right well the idea is they want to re they want to increase oh my condolences i've been excommunicated how much would that cost for me to pay it off oh. 
Oh shit. Eleven oh four. No. Oxford and Bedfordshire need to be at least thirty developers. Damn. Tunis is preparing to attack Spain. Excuse me while I warn Tunis. I wouldn't be surprised if Tunis joins anyway, which is perfect because then I can just fuck them up. How are you getting trade power in the Gulf of St. Lawrence? Me? Yeah. Global trade power modifier. Uh. I, in theory, have trade power everywhere. So if there's less than five nations with trade power in a region, I will show up as one of them. I believe it's one of the Great Britain ideas. I just realized I have not been defending my mainland. Um, okay, my armies have been putting in work. Ooh, I think I'm going to do expansion ideas now because I haven't done that yet. Time to start colonizing the um, back places. Oh, damn, I should have done it a month later. December. Yeah, Spain is collapsing. Oh, that makes sense. No, my general died. Oh no, anyway, I got to start getting a little more. Nice. Oh, god oh, damn it. I know they're probably. Oh, there's no, not even a fort there anymore. I know they're probably going to keep getting it. Doesn't mean I have to like it, right? They're losing its imperial authority every single month. They're only gaining it through the re-election. And right now, everyone's voting for Brandenburg or me. Although I guess the Paladin's voting for themselves now because... Okay, they have an heir, so they flipped backward Austria, but Magdeburg is supporting me. I will say, if you get it, do you mind if I just rampage in the HRE? No, I don't care. Not my problem. I'm not going to get it. Only one person's supporting me. And it's like a negative 150 for everybody else. I think Magdeburg just hates the Austria that much. Look at the snake Austria has done through Germany. Mm-hmm. Looks like my original Austria run when I first played the game. I had no idea. I did that because it was easier to crush the Protestants that way, but I've since learned much better ways to handle it. Mostly by snaking um, alliances. I will say, if I call the Ottomans, if I can get the Ottomans and the Poles in on this war, I will probably just have them destroy Austria and Hungary. Valid. Have lots of money but no loans is one of the worst missions. A little bit. Own a province in the Tunisian area. Yeah, that's good. I'm pausing for a little bit. I need to manage some, um, like, who owns what things. That's fair. And it's just... And that is the end of supremacy over the crown. My privileges are where I want them. I hate to say it. The... I, I, you, let, let's put it this way. Instead of being as negative as I could be, Right. There needs to be a way to transfer multiple states at once, in my opinion. You mean to, uh, um, multiple states? Uh, oh, yeah. Like, the provinces, I should call them. Yep. That would definitely be a great quality of life feature that I would appreciate. And I'm going to unpause now. been requested by several people. Alright, I'm going to unpause.
sadness, Tunis has not declared on, on Spain. Oh. That's funny. My monthly increase in Diplo is zero because of the annexing Ireland thing. Yeah. As much as I'm it's a little costly, in my opinion. A little more costly than it should be, in my opinion. Like, I get it. They... If you stack the modifiers, it can get real cheap. I annexed the entirety of Portugal's entire Eastern Indies army as Austria in less than five years because I stacked up 85% reduction. Yeah. I'm not taking anything really in Africa or... Well, there's some stuff in Africa, but it's nothing, like, in the Algerian region that I'm taking, right? Yep. Yeah, what you can do is, if you check the province I have a claim on it, then those are the ones where it's going to be really interesting. But most of it's fine. My eventual goal is, like, my next war, I'm definitely taking the rest of Valencia. And at that point, we'll probably border if you finish Catalonia off. Uh, I, I'm sorry, a little pause would just help here while I figure out what okay. I want to take. Not a problem. I'm trying to make sure they're out of the New World entirely. As well as basically any island in Africa. I'm going a little British. Yeah. Also, you're friends with the Ottomans, right? Yeah. Any chance you can convince them to break the alliance with Tunis? I was coming favorites for a while. Let me... You want Valencia, you said? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Am I fine to take the three provinces to the north in a line? Uh, so, Urgel, Terragon, oh, you mean on uh, Castellon? Yeah. I meant the, the state of uh, Valencia, so that includes Castellon, but the other two are fine. Alright. Um, I'm a little off of the war score I would like. Uh, wait for the battle that's currently on going to be over. Where's the battle? There's a naval battle in the Gulf of Aragon. Around there, yeah. Oh. Once that's over, you should have plenty of war score, especially because Spain lost. Uh, could I add war reps? War reps are 13? Why are war reps 13? Uh, because it's probably over. If it's over the current war score, then it'll be an additional modifier. Alright, I'm just gonna go with the flat bunny. Nothing like a game of code names where your buddies have picked uh, one of your cards, one of the opponent's cards, a neutral card, and the black card. Yep. And you're just like, nope. And I guess your opponent's card is fine. It was a six and they got five of them, so that's pretty good. Why are you two suddenly angry? Who? Two of my um vassals are suddenly angry. Okay, you have Mexico, Antilles, and Antarctic. Uh, should I make them a crown colony or a private enterprise? Which is better? Uh, I usually do whichever one's the first on the list. I forgot what it's called. Crown colony. Yeah, I usually do crown colony. It gives the military buffs and has among the easiest way to keep them happy. Because you can do the... It basically makes them into a, into a colonial march. <laughs> so the easiest to keep loyal by far. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to unpause now if you don't mind. That's fine. I can finally start colonizing in 72. I believe my colonial range is enough that I can go around the coast of Africa. Oh, it wants me to take a province from Austria, which I guess is kind of my goal. Yep, the only nation still supporting me is the Palatinate. Oh well. It was cute while it lasted. 
I think more people wanted me as an elect as the emperor than Austria. I mean, it would have been Brandenburg, not Bohemia. They're no longer an elector for obvious reasons. I wish Austria would stop supporting their claim on the throne of Poland. That makes the game just not fun. The, the claims of winning game, I mean, not at the, at the entire game. But that part is like, well, I guess I can't. Galicia would love to be my vassal. Huh, funny that. They've already <laughs> forgiven me for abandoning them. Cute. Trade power. Power institutions. Which would be more useful if the next institution wasn't the one that's basically just a free win for Great Britain. What is it? Oh, global trade? Yep. That's almost certainly me. I don't think anybody in Italy has locked it down. I don't know. I like my chances. It depends. You need to be the most powerful nation in the most valuable trade node. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's the only one that is absolutely guaranteed. There's no random chance to it. Um, quantity, quality, or aristocratic? Sorry, what? Quantity, quality, or aristocratic? Um, between those, I like quality. The meta is quantity. Oh, English Channel is not the highest value trade node in the world. What is? Yeah, Venice and Genoa are both higher. Oh, because I'm not focusing on colonizing. That's why. Figures. So I've only got two merchants. Which is probably why I'm also not so filthy rich anymore, because other people are stealing my monies. It's fine. Once I get the colonist, I'll fix that. I'll note that I probably have, like, half an hour or so left in me. Yeah, I won't lie. I've been getting a little bored myself. It's not so much bored as, um, it's 7 and I need food. Uh, right, separatists because of the, the, the Protestants. I want to see what funny business I can do real quick. So that's who Austria is allied to. They have Hungary and Nassau as vassals. They do have a pretty good army, honestly. I won't lie about that. But if I call in, let's say you, Ottomans, Poland, and I'll use Palatinat as father. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? See what? Look at my stream on Discord. We could overwhelm the Austria-Hungarians. Oh. oh, yeah, easily. What would this be like if I don't call you in? Uh, it's substantially lower. Mm -hmm. You have 4K cavalry, apparently. Uh, Ireland does, I don't. Ah. Uh. Would you be against me calling you in? Like, would you rather I not? If you do, the catch is, um... 
my eventual plan is I need to clear War in Tunis whenever that alliance is broken, but I'm not there yet. Oh yeah, let me see if I can do that. If you do that, I will be immediately declaring on Tunis and hopefully annexing the entire damn thing. They're at war and I can't. I also apparently don't have 50 favors. Oh, that's 50, right? Um. Then yeah, I can help. I'll at least curry favors for you, right? Yep. Alright, get your stuff in position. I'm bringing my army, last army back from the I'm new not, world. I'm finishing up drilling, so it'll be a, a little bit. That's the end of the rebels in the Netherlands. I continue to be excommunicated, and I don't have the cash to stop that. Oh, I've also left my army in Spain again. Oops. Really? What? Minus 10% in all of my estates because victory card in ally. What the fuck? That's a thing? Okay, I'm never seizing land again because I can't afford to because of... Um, all my estates hate me because you're my friend. And I have a victory card to take Normandy. That is so dumb. Yeah, a little bit. Why? Like, I don't care that victory cards exist. I hate that they affect gameplay. Yeah. They um, do you mind if I declare this war now? Uh, yeah, you're good. Well, can I obliterate Flanders? No, that adds a more than I would like. I will also warn you that you are currently below the appropriate um, width, combat width with your infantry. Wait. Pause. What's the combat width now? I thought it was still 27. 29. It's 29 now. Minus 27. Oh, are you a, oh, you're a tech below me then, aren't you? Yeah, I've been struggling with mana points. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. Ready? It mostly just means that if Austria's ahead, then, um... They're one ahead of me, yeah, um... So their combat with being ahead means they're gonna want to be near me. And I just got a negative morale of armies event. Love that. Where's my other army? It's down there. Okay, good, I have access to Spain. Let's go. Off on a Eastern European adventure. Oh, also, neither of my um, well, one of my armies didn't have a general for some reason. I didn't notice anybody died. I should say. How much money do I need to? Uh, I can buy indulgence. Nice. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I can't colonize that province because it's the same distance as my colonization range. That's a little stupid. I can go to the Gold Coast. Perfect. Oh, hey, guess what? They're occupying the lowlands. Them poor, poor lowlands. They already peace out the Palatinate? Yeah, they they got lucky on the siege. And the Palatinate only has... They, they got the capital real quick, basically. Shit. I could have relieved it, but I didn't know if they had any armies nearby and didn't want to risk it. Yeah. Can you transfer uh, Sundagal to me? 
And just a warning, they are level four forts on the cap on the border now, so this is gonna be a bit. Vorlaberg and uh, Brayscom are both level four. Vienna is only level three now, so there's that advantage. But the real catch is because of the way that the game works. Now that they have level four forts, your level two forts will have a penalty of outdated, making it easier to siege them. All right. I'll, I'll worry about that in the future, right? Oh, for sure, for sure. Just letting you know in case you wonder why they're falling faster. I think this is the one with the monument. Oh, but Terra incarnated. Holland is at war with Mount Rory in Denmark. Y'all would be like, we want your provinces, and I'm just like, no, it's my province. Oh, that would be a huge Denmark. amount of AE. Oh, uh, Sweden declared war against Norway. That's what happened. I'm like, how in the world is how are they at war without me? All right, that that fort's down. Moving in on the other one, and then once that's over, I should be in their capital. All right. My army is bigger than the entirety of Austria, so. Flanders is already out. Nice. I'm oh, going. Naples is allied with Austria. I didn't even realize. Oh, they are shit. Where are the Ottoman armies? Uh. There's they're... one. Yep, they're, they're in Constantinople. There's a ton in Egypt. But, uh, but... That's probably the last place they were at war recently. So they're moving back up. Does the AI just not really move their armies around, I guess? Unless at war? Yeah, they, uh, they're not great at it. If they plan to declare war, they'll do it. But they're not great at just doing it for the funsies. Face. Okay, fair enough, I guess. So if you, they are not prepared for your war. I guess that's what prepare for war is, then. Yep, it tells them to get their armies in a reasonable spot, but even then, they don't know who you're declaring war on, so... I got, I got an air that was a 3-2-0. I immediately got that guy out. That's fair. Would you mind transferring okay, some of the Austrian land to me, just because I do plan to start annexing <laughs> Austria as part of the war on the Empire CBs? Unfortunately, Varallaberg is a mountain fort, and the fort and the duration is holy fuck. Hold on, uh, I got an event that I need to see. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, you're good, Ferrara. So Italy's, I think, the biggest threat left, other than Austria-Hungary themselves. I'm still gonna just start in on the north of Germany. Oh yeah. Um, I think you don't have much left. Yeah, Konstanz I think is the northern. Is there even any? Yeah, so I guess all that you have left is Austria itself. Oh, that'd be a huge amount of a. Yep. Yeah, these two provinces on my border. I like this. Provinces and Lithuania are seizing down Konstanz, which is good. Get them out of the way. I just got my Miltech up, finally. Oh, right. Venice isn't in the HRE, so I can't just march through them. I have to go through Savoy. That feels like work. I'm not doing it. I just got a siege ability bonus, at least. Yeah, uh, Poland and Ottomans are starting to put in some nice work. That makes sense. Once they actually get there, the big armies are a big help. The issue is going to become, it looks like they're about to maybe try and overwhelm Poland. Mm -hmm. If Aust yeah, Austria-Hungary combined, are the, uh, Austria is the same size as Poland army-wise, and Lithuania is, is 
it has the manpower, because Hungary doesn't have manpower, that's a big problem. Hungary cannot afford to replace armies, so they need to only take battles they can win. And against the Ottomans, that's not happening. Yeah. Oh, I no longer have to claim on a Valencia. That's now fixed. Because I will definitely be at war with Spain in the near future. I also still only have 37 favors with the Ottomans. That's fine. Spain's the important one at the moment. Also, I hope you don't mind that the provinces you take may or may not have, like, um, no loot left and be heavily devastated. I don't care. Yep. Oh. The good news is force reduced but, um, devastation pretty quickly. All I know is I want to start eating up Austria, but obviously we have to play this a little slowly. Mm -hmm. Well, I could either play this a little slowly, or I could go ham and just slowly take up country after country and take a piece from Austria each time. And is Portugal at war. Portugal is at war, so I can't introduce him. Oh my god. What are my heirs? I got a zero four zero. 4 nah. But yeah, maybe I just try and go ham on the HRE, and each time I go war, somebody take a province from Austria. Vorlaberg is done. Eastern or Central Europe is open to you. You should be able to march in. We got Lanshut as a level four fort, Unkarin, and Vienna's level five now. They've been busy. They use their defensive time well. Who? Austria. Okay. All of their forts are level four or five now. Shit. Except the ones we sieged down before they could build them. Alright. Um. I'm learning about the Pacific. Uh, can you get an army to, like, the Frankfurt area? There's a Hungarian army sieging a fort. Oh, Poland's going for it. Yep. Hungary just took a huge loss there. Yeah. And they were about to take a bigger one. Yeah, even battles they theoretically could win, they can't afford to take anymore because they can't replenish their armies. Austria's at zero manpower, too. Yep. The Ottomans are going on a killing spree. Yeah, they will do that. They have a lot of army tradition. And uh, good mill tech. If I were you, I'd probably prioritize mill tech right now. I am prioritizing military. Cool. I have been for a couple years now, and it's starting to balance back out. Whereas, ironically, I've been going after I admin for almost a decade. Because I want my expansion ideas. I have more military that I know what to do with. If only we could trade. I'm doing fine on admin. The nice part of having excess military points is I can just go dev out of our provinces, and that's future free manpower. Yeah. Ireland is sieging launch. First thing they've done in, like, 50 years. And province is sieging Ferrara. Naples is also almost out of manpower from being dragged into too many wars alongside France. I'm sieging the last of Austria's northern possessions at the moment. Makes sense. Uh, oh, Ireland's here. Yep. Uh, oh, look at Budapest. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was stack wiped. Oof. Yeah, Austria's not doing well on their army.
Oh, uh, Hungry is making a comeback. I need to fall back. Uh, nope, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, good. My truce with Spain is over. I can beat the shit out of him now. Uh oh, I need help. Is anybody nearby? Uh, kind of, but not close, not that close. Ottomans, Ottomans, come, hurry. And, uh, I'm just beating the shit out of Austria. <sighs> Alright, that was just a, that, that was a lot lost for me, but that was even more lost for them. Yep, sometimes that's what you need. And it's only a few thousand men, but uh, I'll get over it. Yeah, they're running out. No one's really sieging down Naples, though, so we can't piece them out. Well, they have to go through Ferrara first. True. Uh-huh, can I vassalize Galicia yet? Yes, I can. Hello, Valisha. Welcome to the British family. Alright, I think me being here has given Province the confidence it needs to finally siege Ferrara down. Ottomans need to return to their home country. Meanwhile, Provence is taking care of Ferrara for us. Yeah, I need prestige bad right now. Oh, and that's a Catalonian Separatist army. Hopefully the AI will go for that. Can I release anything from you? Sadly, I can't ask you for maps because um, the whole unit in the area thing modifier. Yeah. What would be the biggest, like, pain in the ass for the Austrians to retake? Um, possibly Bavaria. Maybe you can pull it off. Bavaria something. never formed. Yeah, whatever is in the area, so Ingolstadt. I'm looking at that. <gasps> something to cut them in half would be nice in theory. Yep, that would be Ingolstadt. Landshut. No, Munich wouldn't. Okay. Wait, what Munich? Oh, no, I wasn't... I was looking at Frankfurt. My bad. Yeah, Munich still wouldn't, though. Ingolstadt would be the best one, I think. Because that'll give them... That'll make them lose three provinces, and it'll cut them into three pieces. We'll need to keep like, staying at war is the thing. Right? Yeah. Oh, to roll would be kind of a hit, and kind of a dick move, too. Ready for me to continue? Sure. We need to stay at war no matter what for any of those. Mm -hmm. I also kind of want to stay at war just to keep um, Ottomans and Poland killing their armies. Because I want Austria and Hungary weak. I want them to potentially lose the electorship, honestly. Uh, uh emperorship. That's not exactly happen. I understand. Even the Palatine's not interested. Well, wow, that is a blanket. Maybe because it is a war of aggression into the empire. Yeah, they, if you win the war, then yeah. But because they 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 joined the war, that gives a modifier with every HRE nation because they joined a defensive war. Yeah. Even if it was against themselves. How? Can I ask you, what manufacturer, like, when would you build the manufacturer that gives you extra money? Generally, anything over, like, 20 duck, up uh, 0.2 ducats, sorry. Uh, usually I, I, well, here's the funny thing. If you click on the, on the price buy, 
it's usually closer to like 50, 60, depending on your tech level. Yeah, I'm starting into the 40s is why I ask. Yeah. Oh, there's I an Austrian army up here. Where the 20s even matter because there's almost always something even better to worry about. Fair. I found an Austrian army up here. It's about half. Um, and the yeah, Ottomans are coming. And if we stack wipe this, again, that's about half of their army just gone. Yep, but they don't have any work. They have places to run to, so they don't stack wipe yet. Yeah, I know. I said if, right? <laughs> oh, Farrar wants out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we sieged Montoba down. Would they would not take transfer trade power. Mm -hmm. I, I want to cut your alliance with Austria and Spain. You need to be a... Rel oh, that's just military access. Fine. I'll take that. Oh, the the rest of the Austrian army looks to be in the north. Uh, not quite the rest. Well, the other half, I should say. But they're about to be absolutely obliterated. Oh, they own Ravensburg. They're probably going to retreat there. Which is good, because then they'll definitely be sacked. Oh, they re that. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go move half my army to get ready to go murder Spain again. Um... Brandenburg and Flanders. If I declare it on Spain, who would join? Flanders would not, Brandenburg would. Can I force Brandenburg to break their alliance? Because they love me. No, too much trust. It's fine. I guess I'll be at war with Brandenburg. Alright. And once I finish sieging down, um, what's it called? Winter content, I gotta get ready for the Spanish War. Thank you, Ireland, for giving me tries. I appreciate it. Bundkarten has been taken. Enjoy beating up Austria. Right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go beat the Spanish. Don't mind me. I kind of, I'm gonna try and stay in this a little longer, just for the Ottomans and Poles. Uh, just for Ottomans and Poles to keep beating up the Hungarians and the Austrians. Whereas I'm in a position where there is nothing more to benefit me in this war, so I might as well yeah. beat somebody else up. They're already in a state where they're easy enough for you to handle if needed. And Spain be very squish right now. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll take a brief detour to go relieve Tul um, Tulan from the Hungarians, where they've parked the rest of their army. Oh, okay, thank you. Yep. I didn't even realize that. It's a 9k army versus my 35k with a 3 star general. They are fucked. Even on their way back, they'll just get wiped by the Ottomans or the Poles. I outnumber them 4 to 1, and my general's way better. I think they might be. No, they're not getting stack wiped. They escaped. They're headed to Ottoman troops, so. Hungary has 7k, Austria has 2k. Honestly, I think maybe it's time I just peace out. Because, like, to get them to true zero is going to be a long process. You need to siege down Naples. 
the uh, this sound might be ready to fall. I'm honestly happy with this uh, piece deal. The only thing is, could I get more? Right. Mm-hmm. We can Austria, however possible. There. That was really destructive for them. Hold on. I need to pause for a second. One of my... um, 15... If you want to end here, by the way, I'm happy to. What? Do you want to end here because you said you had to go soon to get food? Uh, we'll end at the end of the year, I think, to so make sure that I, I don't want to... I just um, did the war thingy, but also there's this minor problem where I uh, upgraded Miltech, and I want to make sure that I don't get in trouble because of that. Fair enough. Because I, I upgraded my infantry. Uh, do you have a particular tier 7 reform you like? Uh, I kind of just choose whatever I feel like I need at the moment. Uh, this time I went the parliamentary administration, which is available because I have a parliament. Yeah. I've also done... I've done most of them. In general, I, I just try to avoid ones that increase the influence of any of the estates, if possible, unless they're an estate I don't mind. Dynamic administration is one of my favorites because of that. You mean dynastic, right? Yeah, that one. I was thinking that one, but the yearly corruption kind of sucks, right? I'm going to unpause. No, I'm not giving you the unlawful territory back. I'm here to kill the HRE. Mm Mm-hmm. But I, just be careful, because I believe that does give you a negative 25, not only with the Emperor, but with every single HRE member. So be careful you don't stack too many, or you're looking at 100 with every single member. Max 200. But that gets nasty if it gets too high. Alright. Um, ready whenever you are. To end... I just recruited a really good general, too. He has six pips in shock. I just noticed that my navy is still um, in the coast of Holland. I should fix that. Uh, well, I just saved and I was about to exit. There. Do you want to un- uh, do one more day? Just so that I don't leave it there and lose a ton of sailors. All right. Are you ready to move it? It's already moving. Done. All right. It'll be on London in one day, that's fine. Well, I will say, this wasn't the most helpful learning session, but if nothing else, learning how to cheese your way out of a war you are going to lose because the AI is refusing to peace out Spain. Right? Yeah. Did I save? Yeah, it saved. Uh, that. What? Uh, you had it out? Yeah. Well, I'm going to still be here, but I need to raid out at least. Alright? Ah, uh, fair. Well, not raid out. End. Stuff, so we'll see what I do. I'm so used to raiding on Twitch. They need to add something yeah. like that on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, you can do the old-fashioned raid where you just go find someone else and be like, hello. Yeah, yeah. Alright, oh. see ya. See ya. Alright. Thank you all for joining today. Like I said, can't read out, but I appreciate you all stopping and sticking around. It always means so much. I hope you have a good one. I hope you stay safe. See you next time. Bye. Uh, uh.